Hello! Welcome back hey, to Ready everyone. City Play, everyone. It's Mike and Luke, back to do more Undaunted Stalingrad. The surprise bonus episode. Maybe not too well, much of a surprise. But... Well, the guy um, in chat yesterday, Pineleaf Needles, sorry, um, our friend Pineleaf Needles, that's his ambiguous, said we might have made a mistake in the, uh, in the logging of our campaign because they didn't think that the ending we got was right for the records or the outcomes of the games we played. Uh, so we went back through, We with a fine-tooth comb, we checked everything, and we did discover we made a mistake. And that mistake was, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided that I won the last game, and we decided to play this next one, as though I'd won the last uh, because I won the last game. I think you actually made a series of mistakes, and it was called Rolling Very Badly. Like, in there's that last there's a whole host of mistakes, actually, across the whole campaign <laughs> record. So so we decided to come back and do uh, do the final mission um, having corrected the record with the, uh, the Nazis winning the last game. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So we could just forget that ever happened. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but what, what we've done is we've effectively, uh, just ended the game where it ended yesterday, carried out the casualties in the veterancy, according to that, but then proceeded, um, with the, the, the code from the Nazi victory, uh, which also includes the Nazis taking control of the Soviet headquarters that they were fighting against. Yeah. And that brings us to scenario 151. Yes. Uh, uh, this scenario works pretty differently to the others. If we go to overhead camera, see, we have, we have a big. lot of tiles. It's very large. Uh, this isn't quite all the tiles. There's still, like, more over here that aren't in this one. Uh, but, yeah, we, we had some set-up fun trying to get this all on camera for you. Um, uh, but, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be a bit of a treat. Uh, the other major difference of this scenario is we don't... You'll notice there are no units on it yet. Uh, and this is because we're going to do some, like, secret startup deployment. Uh, so, f across the whole campaign, some of the missions decided that you got control of a certain area, or the other person got control of a certain area. Um, we've now been dealt whichever ones we held at the end, uh, which for me is the northern and southern reaches. So the, no uh, the southern reaches is the one down here in the south, uh, and the northern reaches is the one over here in the north. And the rest of it's all Mike's. So Mike has. You can see here the, yep. these. This was the outcome of the campaign. Uh, Southern region actually says Russia there. The camera's just struggling. So uh, Luke has those two on the outside, and then the German and Soviet headquarters actually wound up in German control, along with the middle nine January Square. So I'm kind of the top. Middle yeah, you, you have this big central like sweep through here. Including like all this flat land where I think I'm going to see some tanks and be quiet. I don't think it. it's a good idea for me to deploy in the big empty middle with you on both sides. <laughs> okay, okay. If there's one thing I know about strategy, it's being flanked is bad. Well, if, it, if it's chess, control of the center of the board is important, so. It's all about force projection. Mm. It's gonna be juicy. Yeah, I think Mike, you should put everything in this like zero cover tile up here in the corner. <laughs> I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Do I have access to that tile? Uh, not at the start, but it is worth a point. Um, oh, so anyway, it is worth a point. Yeah, on these things, so we will we'll get to spawn in the command post of the different areas. We're gonna choose some secrets. So, for instance, my command post is this one. You also get to scout the other parts of the area. So, in the southern reach. These are the normal areas. This is the command post. We have control of the command post. And it's also worth some points for the start. So this one's worth two. Um, but there are also some other tiles about the place that are worth one point. Now we each have to get to 14 points. Well, one of us has to get to 14 points. We don't both have to do it. <laughs> and if you do that, you win. But that's a 14 points. There's a combination of the various control ones across the map, as well as receiving a point every time you route one of the opponent's units. But with a special twist, you can only route each unit once. So like in Normandy or North Africa, the first time you route a unit, effectively everything from the supply goes as well. So if you don't bolster something and it's you've only got one of it in your deck and it goes and then they hit the second one, that's it. Uh, even if you had four more riflemen casually sitting there being like, I'll just bolster them in later and fix my problems. Not this time, they're leaving the battle. And so when you do that to your opponent, you also get points. So that's our other source of points and that applies to both of us. Um, yeah. yeah, and we start with one of every card in our deck, with the exception of our sort of core guys. We start with two of those. Yeah. And so there's this, like, real possibility that the first part of this scenario is just you and me, like, trying to kill the one thing from the most secure <laughs> unit so yeah. it doesn't come back. Just trying to ping it off and <laughs> kill it before it bolsters. So I am scared of your, your master platoon sergeant dude. What's his name? 
Um, Max, Max Schroeder. Oh, Max Schroeder. This is my main guy. Like, the support proved really useful in the game before last, but it's the bolster that I'm scared of here. Four bolsters just going to let you get that extra bit of lifeline in. I, like, I'm, I'm worried about it. Maybe you should just use them for initiative every time. Yeah. You know, like, Make sure I win that initiative <laughs> 10 every single time. Hey, it's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's the meaty bit. Now, we haven't yet decided, we haven't yet allocated our units to... But you can see here, based on just these starting deployments, because I totally definitely won the last game, I've got seven and Luke's got four. Yeah. And we've just put these out like this to sort of help fully indicate to you guys on stream. These wouldn't... You don't normally need that, because you can kind of see where the control markers are and the objectives are. But uh, we've used this big star as five and these as ones. And then, uh, of course, whenever you route an enemy unit, you can take the token from your opponent to show that you've routed it. That's a point. But uh, we'll also put another star out just to make things visually simple. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the other interesting note is we don't start with any Fog of War in our deck. No, apparently not. It, it is not a baseline plus. It's nothing. And it doesn't specify Fog of War, so we're not using any. Uh, so our deck is going to be full of... Yeah, you know, it's going to be high octane decks. They're going to be every card an action card, um, which should be interesting. Now we can still give each other fog of war. Best of fog of war is the part of supply, them. I think. Yeah, supply yep. is all available. Well, not everything is scouted, so we'll definitely be scouting and taking fog of war that way. Yeah, exactly that too. Um, In fact, you'll need to do some scouting if you want to capture like this if point. If I ever want to leave, yep. Yeah. Well, that's the same for you. If you want to go get this one. But I can just run up and down the middle here already. Yeah, you have like a corridor of stuff that's all connected. And it's, 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 like it's, it's actually all very scary, though. It's a corridor of stuff that looks just like it's in jeopardy. I'm going to call it Sniper Alley. Does that sound appealing? <laughs> Sniper Alley, yeah. There's certain rows here, like the red row of death. <laughs> and the, the... Actually, the red rows are largely bad. The yellow row is actually real bad, yellow, too, because the yeah, two points been... of cover have both been pummeled. I, I don't remember who did that, Mike. Who could it have been? Some some someone who hates building. <laughs> I think it was it. you, wasn't it? You that blew up Zebelot house. Zebelot house. Maybe it was actually. Yeah, when I came across. No, I uh, maybe. Yeah, I think it was me. Yeah. Um, I think I also might have leveled that one in our last game, but that yeah, because I think this is where you were starting last game. This could have been so useful to me. But we're also Straight. back where we started. If you remember Zabalotny's house and Pavlov's house, this is the 9 January Square. This is where this whole thing kicked off. Yeah, um, so it's kind of nice to have come full circle back to this and not end prematurely. <laughs> well, maybe it's a metaphor for the pointlessness of war. <laughs> <laughs> the the point, pointlessness of game structure. Players are just going to do what they want anyway. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's our game. Yeah. We'll play it how we want to play it. And pa but Pavlov's house is interestingly worth more points than Zabotny's house. Maybe because it's mm. in a much better shape. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's you. completely correct. That's canon. Yeah, it's that's canon. Well, it's also because it's got that other game named after it. Yeah, which and, is also by David Thompson. Maybe Pavlov's house, or maybe I'm thinking of Lanzarote Ridge. Uh, they like no, solo I think it is games. David Thompson, isn't yeah. it? Did he, he the the Valiant Defender series? That's him, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Because there's also Castle Itter. Castle litter and soldiers and postmen's uniforms and a new one that I or at least a fourth one I think has been announced there's also a Night Witches solitaire game coming out from I think David Thompson or maybe uh, maybe maybe Trevor Benjamin I think it's David Thompson that would make sense mm. uh, yeah and it's we can play game. their new game as well um, David Thompson Trevor Benjamin's new game at UKG Gen uh, General Orders General Orders yeah uh, I don't know a lot about it it looks cool though me either. I'm going to try and get a demo. I hope I can get a demo. Anyway, right, let's pick some secret objectives and stuff. And I'll uh, just say hi to Pineleaf Needles and Chris in chat. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so we've got our areas and we're just going to... We're going to take one unit, one card from every unit, uh, and place them beneath you know, each one. Uh... Except for Fog of War, no Fog of War. Right, so the command point for the staging area, which is this card I've got for controlling 9 January Square or whatever, which is green, which is why it's zoned out. <laughs> but you can see each each sort of uh, zone has three tiles. So this is telling you what you control at the start, and then the TNC is where the specific units deploy. So all the uh, soldiers I put under here will be on the C tile, and all the tanks I put under here will be on the T tile. This is to ensure tanks don't start in houses. But What's frustrating about this is like that C tile, if it was in good nick, would be incredible place to put snipers right in the middle of the map, just sniping everyone. But the house has been utterly leveled. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's probably not I'm, very I'll be honest, good. I'm less sad about that than you are. I don't know why. C- couldn't imagine. Yeah. Um, and another thing to note, the, the unit you choose to put beneath your thing, like, so I chose this sniper rather than, like, this sniper, that is the... That, so if I chose this sniper rather than this sniper, yeah. that is the one that will start in your deck. Right, so yeah, all the cards so we've little... put under here are going to come into our deck and be our starting cards. So... I don't really want to put all my best guys in here. I kind of want to bolster them in later. But also, there's a chance that, you know, we'll just all... Well, I guess the cards themselves don't... Yeah. yeah. Bear with me, folks. I'll get my strategy in line in a minute. In the meantime, Take I'll just babble moment. incoherently to myself in the corner. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try... I'm not going to look at what I'm just doing. Um, right, we do get to start with two riflemen. Oh, the riflemen are so shit, though. <laughs> but they're kind of going to be important, because we still need to take control of things for points and stuff. Although, to be fair, there's not a lot of points that you don't control. Right. And actually, I don't need to use two cards for this, because... Um... Oh, Explorer is so much worse without the... Uh... Lovely, uh, without Fog of War to get rid of. Yeah, but we'll still get Fog of War. Yeah, I think, I think Fog of War. It will be on the way. Ah, uh, oh, I'm actually gonna have an Engineer A. Remember that guy with smoke bombs? Remember him? Yeah, I don't really want to see him return, thanks. <laughs> but it sounds like he is. You should each have three areas at the start. Um... Yeah, I've only ended up with two, and I think... So, yeah, this is a weird thing for our game. Well, yeah, but we're... we're tr the, so the path we followed to get here is not illegitimate. We haven't fudged anything. We're just pretending I won the last game. I mean, I yeah. did win the last game. Don't um, look at the last stream. Let's just check. Well, maybe, maybe we meant. Maybe I meant to have the staging area. Is maybe the mistake I've made. So, if we went yeah. from fourteen B, uh, so fourteen B. It says here if you are playing scenario one five one. Well, let's just check with one five one, not one five two. Uh, so we were we were on one four two. We played fourteen B from one four two. We had a, well, in this case, we're doing a German, German victory, which victory. takes us to 15B. And 15B, uh, 15B. Oh, it takes us to... We 15B should is 420. Yeah, we should read that as well. Yeah, 151. Play scenario 151. 151. And my 151 says, remove the remaining cards, including staging card. Your 151 says... Keep. If you're playing 151, also play the staging, staging card face up in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at the end of the last scenario, it said if you win this, put the, uh, uh, take control of the, the, the Soviet the headquarters. The Soviet headquarters, yeah. yeah. Um, we definitely got those ones, right? And I, I didn't win on the uh, one where I was assaulting the German headquarters, because that would have been an early win. Yeah, that would have been that me losing the game. One, that was scenario 12, which was not a rat and creek, because that's what we did for scenario 14. It was the stronghold. Yeah, winner takes control of the German headquarters, which was you. Um, or in this case, retained control. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, I think technically, no one. Yeah, in, in the game, in the game mechanics terms, no one had control. Finally, yeah. needles. You have a lot of strong opinions about what we should be doing, <laughs> but yeah. we've done everything correctly according to the rules. So, I'd like to know why why you feel this so strongly about these things. Because you've been yeah. right about everything else. Yeah, you've <laughs> so... been very on the ball. <laughs> um. We should also read uh, the the 420. Do you want to do it now, or do you want to wait till we're... Let's deploy, and then we'll Let's read. deploy, and then we'll do the reading and get into the action. Seems legit. All right, I'm, I'm actually still here just picking who I want to start on the board, and then I'll figure out. So... You know, just, every single rifleman in Squad B is now a sad one again. <laughs> the bolts, the sort of the, the merging with Squad C didn't last long or help much. If I'm honest, like, they all got injured again pretty quickly. Who boy. Oh, yeah, two of these, but then I'm not going to add the second one to here for deployment's purpose.
Um, I have some elite machine gunners. I don't know why I didn't use them more often. Because I would have murdered them with my snipers. Maybe. I don't have a single upgraded uh, engineer in B squad, so that doesn't really matter which one I take. I'm like, like mm. tilting mine as I like select from them to try and keep it. I'm just saying. Uh, yes, flamey boys, let's go. No. Right, take Ooh, out engineer B first. Right, but they're not route. So you'd have to do two casualties to a unit to route it immediately, right? Because you have to like get the card out and then hit them again to route them. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, I didn't do a Stug is back. Stuggy, Stuggy. Oh, I forgot what a grim mistake all my scouts are in. <laughs> They've not had a good war. They have paid dearly. Hmm. Okay, I think I have it all set up. I'm just going to try and validate that. Put them all in one house. You can bomb them all. <laughs> Fantastic! I no, love that. Very kind of. I love that. Hmm. I need to look at the map and actually also have like a strategy, um, which is a problem for me. I guess you can barely even see the uh, the cards down here, yeah, because I'm there's Wait, so little space. To, like, try and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the map is very large now. It all fits on the table very nicely, but the, the camera can only go so high. Uh, yeah, and then if I raise it too high, then it's then like, you can't well, see it. you'll have a wide view of absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, so I can, I, you know, I can go here, 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 and here, but I'm sort of like, where do I go to get points? Or am I just going to kind of hunker down and try to maintain the ones I start with? I mean, you, you have know? seven points to wait for. Yeah, so really, if I just kill seven things, great. You know? And by kill them, I mean route them. Route them, get them out of the game. You mean murder them in your Nazi way? Don't say it like that. Sorry. <laughs> it's called route, not murder. <laughs> feel bad, Mike. Feel bad. It's my only hope. <laughs> I know. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad for my guys dying too. They, you know, I mean, they're they're. I don't think the we we were just following orders. Excuse really flies either. <laughs> over here so we can try that later hmm <clears throat> okay we need some kind of system here so that I can remember what I'm thinking this is a system so these ones go here and this one goes here and uh, 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 this? Right. Right. And then this one go. Yeah, it's hard, right? It's like so I made my decision. So like I, I can, I, I think I can look, and I'm just not going to touch them. Now, I'm alarmed by how quickly you've made your decision. I only had two spots to choose between, right? Uh, so it was yeah. a little more like, do I want it there? Do I want it there? Like, yeah, it's, it's a smaller the problem space. Um, and ultimately, I only have to, you know, like I want a bit in each to defend, and then there's kind of a like, 
well, this place is going to be probably better for that, and this place can be better for that. It's where it's assessing across four things. Maybe simplicity will be the key to Soviet victory. It's possible. Hopefully, Mike will just like leave spots undefended. Like, just nothing up here. Let me walk in, grab some points. Be a good Stalingrad neighbor. The full route is also not available, by the way, folks, yes. in this game. Uh, so there's no. If the riflemen go, they just go, and it just hampers your ability to control control points. Yeah, to control points. Um, unless you've got partisans, still got them. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how my joy. I'm gonna do this whole game. I'm just gonna to dedicate to killing those guys. <laughs> well, you killed two. So in the casualty step of the last thing, uh, Mike wiped out two of the partisans. So actually, that partisan squad that was five is already down. They were to the three. only things I hit in that whole game. Because <laughs> they happened to do something stupid right at the end. They ran uh, yeah. into that room building. Yeah, when I should have yeah. just moved them north. Yeah, because it was a uh, rifleman B that ended up taking it, wasn't it? Yes, because so I ended up with two yeah. rifles be off the reach off so you like move it. And if you're confused, it's because we're talking about a game that didn't happen. <laughs> 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 you didn't see. <laughs> um, oh god, I don't know what to do with the rest of these guys. Um, Just give them an early holiday. Be like, you've been on the front for a long time, this has been hard work. You know. Hair Mike appreciates you, take some extra leave, go see your family. <laughs> It's just good management. Can't really argue with that. Right? Well, this guy isn't a veteran. Oh, I don't know something about I, I did enjoy in the setup noticing that all of your uh, your sea riflemen no longer exist. They're yes, just, they're just all B reserves. So. I did have a good one. He died in the game that didn't exist. <laughs> it's funny for a game that didn't exist, a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> it's true. Um, okay, I think this is complete. Let me just double check this here. Yeah, am I happy about that? No, he goes. <laughs> He goes. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that. So he should go here, actually. There. Oh, that's going to be. That's too much. Ah, it's fine. All right. Done. Are you ready? Yes. Shall we do? How do we want to do this? Are we going to reveal like each stack and then put the tokens out. And... Yeah, let's go one at a time, and then I'll just have to do two. But I'll start. Cool. You start. I'll start. Yeah. 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 And then okay, so do... I'll, I'll reveal who I've got here in the Soviet HQ. This Ooh. down here, and I reveal only uh, sniper and machine gunner B. Uh, gunners, gunner BC, uh, in the headquarters and snipers. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. but no, you've got sharpshooters as well. They're coming up somewhere else. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those two are in your deck. Stick them with yeah. the um, you know, the four thingy cards. There we go. All right, now it's you. Now it's me. Uh, I'm gonna. I will reveal my. My northern reach first, so I'll do this corner. This corner. Um, I've got my snipers in there. Would you like fish out the cannon? Yeah, that's what yeah. I'll do. So snipers. Right, represented see. by Yuliana, hero of the Soviet Union. She deserves that medal. Right, 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 so they're uh, they're in Grud Grud yeah. Grudini's house. Grudini's um, st steam steam, steam mill. mill. Grudini's oh, yeah. steam mill. Uh, partisans. Our partisans are down there too. Yeah, your friend of mine. That's it. Scout A. This is prime target. <laughs> this is this is this is like Mike's just like calling the mortars. Uh, rifleman A. Oh my god. Machine gunners B. <laughs> oh my god, there's no more room. They don't fit. Uh, <laughs> something else. <laughs> They've been pushed uh, out here into the open. And uh, engineer A. And engineer A. Yep. Well, I uh, got two spots. They got to get somewhere. Oh my god. Yeah, it's true. So I might as well just dump all the rest of your tokens in the other spot. Um, not quite because there's there, there's a twist. Oh my god! It's, it's not gonna be that. Oh, the tanks, yeah. The tanks, yeah. The tanks, yeah, of course. Right, well, I'll reveal now who's at home in the German HQ, which is the area up here in the far north. Dramatic pan. Dun 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 dun. The villain headquarters. Can you imagine where that? you'll find. Hold the music right now. Scout so really B honest. and Rifleman B. <laughs> Scout B and Rifleman B. Just them? Just those two, yep. 
<laughs> Scout B. Rifleman B. Chill out. Just keeping keeping the lights on. Exactly. Okay, well, my southern reach. Uh, so I'll pass you the tray again, Mike. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I got anti tank gun, uh, which starts in the house. The anti tank gun is in shelter. Uh, then I got T thirty four seventy six mod, which is on there. A T thirty four and a KV one. Aha. All my tanks are over there. And then, uh, then the rifleman B. Yep. Machine gunner A. Uh, Engineer B, Scout B. Now, if anyone's wondering why did I like, you know, I've got all the Bs over here, all the A's over there, except the machine gunners, they weren't getting on. Uh, there was a little spat. People were unhappy that the machine gunners still had ammunition. Um, so I've like rotated the squad a bit. Hope that'll help things out. Is there an Even actual there reason for this? Uh, yes, there is. It's to do with what those machine gunners in the different squads have. Oh, it's so just the veterans. I'm like, yeah, it's to do with the veterancy abilities, where it's like, I think I want a, an area suppress in this place and uh, extra attack dice in this one. Uh, that makes on what sense. I think you're going to do. I didn't. But, oh. but it's, it's it's pretty marginal and it probably won't work out because Mike has so many options. Uh, yeah, okay, so here's what I did. <laughs> this next thing. Um, I put all my tanks here. All the tanks in Zabotli's no, house. No, in here, in here. So. In, Oh, in the, uh, in the unnamed little square there. Yeah. Well, we're near the anti-tank gun, so that's good. That's good. Um, so would you kindly get all of my tanks? <laughs> yes. This is, it, it, like, but you have like more tanks than me, right? Because so I, this is yeah. your T's and your S's. Yeah, I, f I should have five tanks in there. And, and you were complaining about tile space that I suggested you to. <laughs> Come on. These things like on top of each other, like stack tanks. Yeah, stack the tanks. Tank stack. Uh, I'm this is gonna, a real strategy. I'm going to like... Here we are. We can, we can do this. We can, we can still see the cover value. We'll be able to see all of the tanks. The fact it's scouted, there we are. It's like a, I've built, um, you know, like a, one of those, like, you know, what are the animes where, like, all the different bits assemble into one, like, mighty Morphin Ranger thing. Is that Power oh, Rangers? Uh, yeah. That's Power Rangers do that, and also, um, oh, we were literally talking about this show the other day. It's not Evangelion. It's not, no, not Evangelion. Um, the... No, it's the American show where they just want to make a bunch of toys. Gundam? Megazords? Megazords? Uh, yeah. Transformers? It's something like that. I've so forgotten the name of it. Anyway, they're, they're all, like, anyway, we have, like, you know, the head of Exodia, the arm of Exodia, etc. Etc, etc. Right, and now it's just whoever's over here in 9 January Square, which yep. is Engineers A. Engineers A. Yep. yep. In Pavlov's house. In Pavlov's house. house. Pavlov's house. And also sharpshooter. Sharpshooters. Yep. And machine gunner A. Gunner's A. Yep. And scout A. Scout A. And rifleman A. Rifleman A. And engineer B. <laughs> engineer B. And there we go. And Pavlov crowded house. Pavlov's very crowded house. Yes. The music's great compared to every other. Location. It's the party house. We held yeah. the party house. It's still and we're still going to want like the little control tokens in that, so that we don't throw it away in time. But... It's true. Uh, and then set. we need to take one extra rifleman and one every scout, uh, extra scout, and then our decks are ready. It's true. They're uh, already super fat. Chonky decks for chonky combat. It's true. Uh. That's going to be really annoying, but okay, it's just going to be the reality of it. Uh, um, decisions, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Cool, okay, my deck is complete. Right, and it's just an extra rifleman and scout, right? Just one extra rifleman, one extra scout from A and B, right? So Maybe. four more cards added at the end there. Not so, a problem. So your adventure deck set up should be platoon sergeant, squad leader, squad leader, tank commander. Um. Oh, what is a platoon guide? I don't think I ever got a platoon guide. No, nor did I. 
Interesting. So, because we haven't unlocked it, presumably we don't have yeah, it. Yeah, I assume we don't have it, because it doesn't tell us to unlock those as cards. No. Uh, SL97 to SL02, yeah, well, that was the six areas. Um, two Rifleman A, two Rifleman B, two Scout A, two Scout B, one card from every other unit in your supply. Which we already did. Um, magic. Let's get combining. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, deal this out like a, like a magic or a network. Break, break up this, like... <laughs> No. Stuff a bit, because otherwise do a stack it's going to be like, everyone's doing it from A. You know, we'll just oh, to stop it, then we'll shuffle it properly afterwards. But like... <sighs> Sufficiently randomized. Oh, it does feel good to have no fog of war. Maybe I'll just never move. Just never move. Just go for the kill from where you're sitting. Blow you up. I think some of your tanks are quite vulnerable as well. I'm looking over there. You so you've got you still got T34 and KV1, which means the T3476 mod only has a card in your deck. Uh, curse that commander's <laughs> observational skills. Maybe I should have not left a gap here. I should have just like slid them Slide along. Quietly be, slid like, them be like, Mike will never notice that there are in fact three tanks. <laughs> ah, yeah, I, I think that was pretty inevitable. <laughs> I, do, I do remember blowing up one tank a lot. And I think it was that. T3476 mod. Well, it was the one that had the better anti tank capabilities, yeah. I think, right? Like, yeah, that was my, 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 my limited strategy. Because your tanks are generally better armored than mine, by the way. Yeah, they, quite significantly. They were like doinking a lot. Yeah. And here they're in, they're in a fortified square. Yeah. Yeah, so that's which is why I want more tanks here because because if I the, my other tank spawn location was like this one down here, miles from anything, more exposed. I was like, nope, they are they are all spawning here. Oh. Speaking of T thirty four, just drop it on the table. It's better than dropping my toe. T thirty four is pretty heavy. I don't actually know how heavy, but at least a few tons, at least a couple of tons, maybe only a ton and a half. Um, God, yeah. How heavy is a tank? I mean, the KV-1 is definitely a few tons. Like, that is a big boy. But the Panther three and the, T and the T-34s might be a bit lighter. Anyway, shall we kick it off? So we, How many is a ton? Is it a hundred? Uh, no, a thousand, thousand, thousand kilograms? kilograms? Yeah. At least a metric ton. I mean, Imperial tons. <laughs> they're, they're both tons. God damn it. <laughs> Just... All right, story time! Story time, yes. Uh, it was 4.20, right? Yeah. <laughs> I remember it for some reason. For some reason that number seems significant. Remember, this is all based off a thing that didn't happen. So, the sadness you're about to encounter at the recent loss. All lies. Propaganda. Propaganda and <laughs> Nazi propaganda. 4.20. <laughs> This is likely to be the decisive encounter, the lieutenant said, stepping away from the map pinned to the basement wall. And the final one. By tonight, the fate of Stalingrad will have been decided. Two met the words with silence. They had gathered in the warehouse basement on the lieutenant's order, every survivor in the two squads. Their worn, grubby faces illuminated by the flickering gas lamp was the only source of warmth in the dank space. Determination kindled in every eye. Our headquarters has fallen, the lieutenant continued. Propaganda. Um, his voice low and earnest. But still, we hold the ground on this side of the Volga. We will not give it up. The advantage is ours. Commanders issued simple instructions. Take the adjacent streets and hold them. Not a step, not a backward step. We fight to the last round, the last grenade. And if the fascists keep coming, we use our knives and our fists. Is that understood? Yes, Lieutenant, chorused the platoon, their voices ringing loudly in the shadowy space. The Lieutenant looked to the NCOs, to Uri, to Maxim, to Anya. Each returned the air officer's gaze unflinchingly. They had led their squads every day since the start of this hellish campaign, and they had done so with unwavering courage and resolve. They would do so again today, of that there was no doubt. Prepare yourselves, comrades, the lieutenant said, as the crump of exploding shells began to filter down among them. The time for battle is upon us. Mine's really sad. Was it sad? Because it's a well, it's sad because um, it sort of ends. Uh, this will be the final confrontation. The lieutenant continued, indicating where the Soviet blows were expected to land. It may well decide the fate of the Eastern Front itself, and from there the entire war. Be under no illusion. We must secure Stalingrad for Greater Germany, and to do that, we must defeat this final assault. 
It doesn't matter. They all die. Yeah. It's sad. It's really sad. All right. Mine, mine was pretty stoic in its result. Um, so they do a good job. Right. Hmm. Interesting starting options here. I see, I see, I see. And there will be no fog of war. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm having a little thing about war. On <laughs> so many options. Do. I mean, like we could literally have like battles going on over here or over yeah, here, exactly, and like, over what here, am I and just prioritize like never doing... see the other stuff. Well, you can only prioritize what's in your hand, I suppose, yeah, to the extent. Guess, but still. Um. Okay, I think. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start as we mean to finish. Three, two, one. It's five. It's a seven. Seven. Cool. It's all yours. All right. I've elected apparently not to. Oh, and the Germans or... started with the initiative in this scenario, uh, regardless of whether we have one five one or one five two. So okay. now Mike seizes the initiative, holds it. It's true. All right. The other good thing about having lots of cards in my deck is if Mike shoots and hits something. It's not that likely it's in my hand. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like, it's true. Um, right. Here's my plan, all right? Here's the scout A. And he's just going to go one, two, <laughs> into here. Believe it or not, <laughs> I had a very similar plan this time. We'll talk about it afterwards, about why. But, like, uh, yeah, put your put your scouts down, Get your, grab your fog of wars. Uh, um, okay. So... There we go. Just mad run into the enemy base. I'm gonna have to move the cards here so I don't lose track of them. Um, and then, um, he just carrying like a C4 satchel is gonna like drop it and run away. <laughs> I That's... wish. I mean, I wish then I'd Sounds also had like two engineer cards in hand because that would be disgusting. Um, or like the the one rifleman who has a grenade, <laughs> but no, it's actually just gonna. He's what he's gonna do is he's gonna attack your snipers. Okay. <laughs> he's just gonna run. Second scout A. Yep. Yep. I've got two scout A cards. I, I shuffle. I did a stack shuffle and then a regular shuffle, but I still got. So they're both. in the building, so they still get the one cover. Oh, I'm not attacking your scout A's. My scout A is gonna attack. Yeah, yours, my snipers. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just sorry. I was just checking the. Yeah. Uh, so you got six, the, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, five plus one. So I need a six, right? Yep. Yeah. Six or higher. Or higher. Yeah, exactly a six. You'll be pleased to know. Damn! Three! That yes! Yes, roll on yesterday's luck. Stay cursed. God damn it. <laughs> uh, and then finally I've got Machine Gunner B. Um, who's over... Who's over yeah. here in the waterworks. Um, and... He's going to... He's gonna. What am I gonna do? A suppression on some key unit? It'd be good to suppress that anti-tank gun. It. Oh, but then again, how much do I care about the tanks? Oh, I've got so many of them. <laughs> um, I could suppress your scouts so you don't do what I'm doing. I quite want to kill your snipers though. I'm just very scared of the snipers, which I think is the right thing to be scared of. But if I shoot at your snipers, it's going to be tens. Um, which is sad. If I shoot at your anti-tank gun, it's nines, which is slightly more achievable. If I shoot at anyone in this house, it's uh, tens. Which is I think the anti-tank gun is ten. One, two, three away, plus two cover. It's oh, five, the two cover. Five. I wasn't counting the two cover, yeah. Damn, so I think let's suppress the snipers. So... Suppress Suppression is four, and you're gonna hit on ten. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's yeah. ten. So we flip the snipers. There's also like an oddly cocked D10, but it doesn't really yeah, matter because fine. it's not, it's not relevant. Okay, that's it. Over to you. Okay, so my scout A was indeed gonna like sprint in here and be like surprise, like it, <laughs> weird, like it gonna do the same and I think we are just gonna do the same yeah they're just yeah. gonna so we're just copying each other's moves well I was, I, I'm a little surprised you've done this because for me this feels like something I need to do to like try and like even this out but we'll, we'll see I can see you wanted to come for my snipers yeah. Um, and yeah if it makes sense it makes sense both ways so two Fogger Wars 
that scout, and then uh, Rifleman A. Uh, well, I think it's just going to attack these scouts since they're here. Um, so the scouts are a six or better, uh, one die. It's a two. So that was actually even worse than like scouts. Um, <laughs> what if we can't hit anything? <laughs> what if we hit nothing for We're the next here, like, like three hours? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then KV one. The KV one is going to anti tank. Uh, and then the KV-1 is going to anti-tank, I guess, against the Stug, it looks like. Yeah, that seems to be your smallest power. Maybe the Panzer IV is your smallest power. Whatever, it's Stug time. Uh, where, actually, can I see what the armor on the Stug is a 6? The armor on the Panzer... Oh, my... Oh, the Panzer IVs are 5. The Panzer III is a 4. The Stug, Stug is 6. six. The St Stuggy boy is quite tough. Um, That's true. Who's this, the anti-tanker? Well, uh, this is... No, this is uh, the KV-1. So it's yeah. one, two away, plus one cover, so three. Um, we're going to fire at the at the Panzer IV. Uh, which, uh, the Panzer which IV Panzer S or T? T. The Panzer IV T? Yeah. Sure. But not the Panzer IV T. That's, that's, yeah. that's not happening in this universe. Uh, so one away, two away. The Panzer IV T? How much better would a Panzer IV T be than a Panzer T? A Panzer IV. I don't, want, I don't want to think about it. So I think I hit on eights or better. Two dice for the anti-tank action. Well, this yeah. Time, so that wouldn't have mattered. So I the need Panzer to go four, into my deck and Panzer IV T specifically. And remove a Panzer IV T card. Uh, oh my god, it was the second card. And mm -hmm. now it's going to casualties. Womp womp. Okay. All done? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, some intriguing, intriguing business going on here. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. It's a five. It's a six. Boo! Woo! Let's slide it over here too. Thank you, Scouts B. You did Why am I doing that? <laughs> um, Just... I'm going to play Engineer A, mm -hmm. who's in here. Yep. I'm going to play Engineer A for their veteran action, which is going to be mine too. Because you've yeah. run in here and now I'm worried. So, like, uh, could you pull through the tray? It's just not oh, by you. Mine's Thank two. Yeah. Oh, this front is going to be bloody, isn't it? This whole thing's going to be bloody, but this front in particular seems like it's already... So there's a mine A yep, and another cool. mine A. Uh, I think it's that when they roll, it'll roll two dice, not I get to place two of them. No, you place one per mine. What The, the number is number of mines. Oh, the number is the number of mines? Yep, and then the uh, yeah, I guess the, the yeah, dice the is... Like the, explore or scout or whatever, yeah. Okay, well then we'll put one across there. And... So anti-personnel mines, one there and, and one there. there. I don't think we need anti tanks yet. We'll find out. <laughs> um, so that's engineer. Uh, and then. Uh, Rifleman A is going to take a shot at. Uh, oh, well, okay, well, that uh, die. I guess you're just down to three dice for this whole game. <laughs> Do we see it's an obvious. No, okay, we'll look at it. Um, yeah, we'll have to find it some other time. You'll have to borrow one of mine. Well, I'm, I'm just rolling one for now, anyway. Oh. Uh, it's versus the scouts. Uh, so the scout has a cover of six, or a defense of six, rather. Five plus one. Yep, 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 yep. It's a zero. Yep, so a scout A, which you definitely... Well, you actually, you could have one of your decks, but you definitely have one of your discards. Uh, I don't have... No, I just played two, so I definitely don't have one oh, of your hands. Oh, yeah, you played both of them. I forgot about that. All right, there we go. Scout A is out of the picture. And we're still continuing our... A uh, dice search. We are not good at recon. Uh, finally, I'm going to play a bolster. Uh, oh! With I'm platoon gonna, sergeant. With platoon sergeant. I'm going to bolster three. But what are you going to bolster? And what am I going to bolster is the question, indeed. I found your dice. Thank you. Your die. My die. My a die. single die. There we go. Get these tens out um, here. What a mess. I think the answer is we're going to bolster a partisan. Uh, we're going to bolster a sniper. Oh, my sniper's gone. We're going to bolster two snipers. Yeah. Yeah, that seems good. 
that what we want to do? Yeah, they're all squadless. They're all going to be useful. It's, yeah, yeah. So it's a partisan and two snipers. Partisan and two snipers. Understood. Uh, over to you. Incredible. Thank you for the die. Incredible. Um, right. I'm going to play my veteran engineer A to put some smoke down in my Pavlov's house. Okay. So stay away. Don't, don't you dare do crap here. Yeah, don't shoot at me. It's mm, mm, Don't come near. Um, and then I think I'll play um, my rifleman A just to attack your uh, scout that's run into my house here. I'm not yeah, I mean, fair. happy about that. So here we go. So I'm looking at a six up. And it's ten. Uh, yes, you actually would have been eight up because it's in there with smoke. But oh, the smoke covers your guy as well. Yes. Well, I got him anyway. Well, you got him anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. So the smoke helps everyone. Ooh. I believe so. It's just it's my it's, it's smoke, smoke. smoke, Luke. It's my smoke. <laughs> it, it I mean, logically, you're to... correct. <laughs> uh, well, I, I was just going to check this. Um, Oh, yeah, the total sections. defense I leave any unit on the same tile as a smoke marker is increased by two. This in addition to any cover or range bonus. It's not applied against mines or demo. Um, each tile can only have one smoke marker. Smoke markers are removed at the end of the scenario. I also got your smoke marker out. Not the, it doesn't actually matter though, does it? Other because... than like the maximum usage of smoke. Yeah. Like each entity can only place up to two smoke. I think it's your smoke marker. Because, yeah, because mine are. Gray. Why have we punched we your may smoke not, out? We may, we may just have punched out the wrong one. So we uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Here we go. This is the correct smoke. Smoky, smoky. So did you get rid of a scout A's? Yes, uh, he's gone up there. Very good. Okie dokie. Um, uh, any other horrible surprises for me? Uh, yes, I suppose. It's uh, Platoon Sergeant, Super Mega Commander Man. And he gets me four cards, so now I'm just going to get four cards. Um... And I think I'll take uh, my two sharpshooters and also Panzer IV so it doesn't get blown up so easily. Cool. That's three cards, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's three. I can have one more. It's never. I mean, it really didn't, but <laughs> I, feel it's, it's, I feel it's inevitable. Blah. Cool. Yes. More cards. Deck building goes out the window. Just more bodies, please. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. You ready? Three, two, one, a three. It's eight. You have the initiative. All right, overbid. Boo. All right, now what was my plan here? All right, so my plan here to start with. I think. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Can you, uh, you know, unrelated to anything I'm considering or looking at doing, like, can you just read me the text of assault action? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh... Assault specifically says take a movement action listed on that card. You may then take a combat action listed on that card. That's what it says. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. So here's uh, here's Panzer IV S, the one you didn't shoot, and it's just going to drive over here, cool. and then it would like to take a shot at this house. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Makes sense. Three dice. Three dice. One, two, it's tens only. Boo. Three away, yeah. Boo. Let's get roll three dice. Yay, three dice. Show me tens. Bloodshed. Boo. It misses. Oh, nope. Okay, well, that's fine, because here's Panzer three, and it's going to do the exact, exact same, same thing. thing. Oh, it's also yeah. got assault, but it only has two dice, so that's sad for it. No, nope. nothing. All right. Well, we'll just keep moseying on over that way in the meantime. 
Maybe I should have been doing suppress. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, finally, I've got uh, Engineer B, and I'm deliberating whether to set a mine and try to um, protect my house, or to demo try the house you're in, de or demo the house I'm in, or kill your cat scout. Because now I need eight <laughs> to kill that scout. Hmm. I don't think any of my engineers have smoke. Nope, you never got the smoke. No smoking engineers. It was a secret strategy. I'll do a mine, just in case you're planning to run more people in here and then they're even harder for me to kill. I don't like that. Oh, engineer B. Here's a footsteppy B token. Footsteps. And then also if your scout decides he wants to leave, too bad! <laughs> yep. Alright. I'm all done. Cool. Uh, well, squad leader A is going to bolster. Uh, he's going to bolster a... Engineer A uh, may as well be this one and a Scout A uh, and then Sniper Juliana, the best of the best snipers, is, is merely going to stand up. <laughs> I like the optimistic picking up of the dice. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked across only at that moment and I was like, oh. But Alexi. Commander of the best T thirty four in town. That's right, T thirty four seventy six mod. Get 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 good. Um, <laughs> Alexi's gonna do uh, actually just an anti tank. Yep. Um, it's gonna be an anti tank versus that uh, the same Panzer four as before. Yep. Which is the Panzer four T. Yep. So it's looking for uh, uh, one two away plus one cover, so eight or better. Eight. Two dice. Come on. No, that sums eight. But it is it not mocks eight. you. It mocks it you. It does. It does. All right. We're right. still just making our way through the first shuffle of our deck. These, these are chunky boys, Big and you chunk. you could you could hunger down, but it'd be very dangerous to do. Yep. You could hunker down, but that f yeah, I mean. Yeah, exactly. This right. is like, kind of the finale I wanted. <laughs> like this, this feels like you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like big and bombastic and a bit silly, but it's fun, you know. Kill. Ready on you. Three, Three two, two, one, one seven. Six. You get to keep it. Yeah. All right. Cool. You get to keep it. All right. So here's the plan. Tank commander is going to guide Panzer III into here. And then Panzer III is going to do an assault action down here and shoot your house. Why There's can't I? I haven't scouted it. God damn it. You could, it could move into there. Would technically be a tile closer. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would. 1, 2, 3 versus 1, 2. It does technically take one off the roll when you move in there. Yeah, and then I can just come down through here, can't I? So I guess that's better. Um, and it, the cut, lack of cover doesn't really matter because I'm one further away, so it's sort of a net zero. Yep. All right, so that's uh, eight, nine, ten. It's still ten, anyway. Or yeah, one, one two, two, ten. Yeah, okay, because it's eight. No, it's eight. Eight to hit the house. Building's pretty pretty stonk. I think it's it's really eight to hit it in a way that'll make it fall over as opposed to just hitting it. That's no. a one and a seven. That sums eight, but it, it's that's but not I needed ten anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and my final card is Machine Gunner A. Uh, um, who is up here? No, no he's in this he's house. In house. He's in the he's, he's in that house too. And he sure would like to put Overwatch on this tile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or I could shoot the scouts. Someone's gotta shoot those scouts. If... I'm, I'm letting you guys hang out. Like, I'm not so prejudiced. <laughs> Maybe they want to defect like the Romanians. Not even causing Mike psychic damage anymore. <laughs> He's too go. gleeful. I'm gonna. There we go. It's oh, that's, that's. Wait, that's your Overwatch token. I'm not red. You're red. Where's my Overwatch token? Ah. There's the wrong one. Here it is. Here's the right one. Eh. 
Okay. Hold on, over to you. Cool. Uh, well, Machine Gunner B is going to do an area suppress versus this house. Yep. I mean, it's all tens. <laughs> yep. But I think one, two away, plus three cover, plus two smoke. Yeah, it's all tens. It's all tens. Right. So, uh, so first we'll do the rifleman. Yeah, let's, uh, I'll tell you what, let's, um, oh, hang on. What am I doing here? I'm going to suppression cam. Yeah, well, I was going to, yeah, I was going to sort of see if we could, uh, there's not a sensible way to do this. So the rifleman first. Rifleman first. No, they're fine. Now the gunners. No, I got a nine, but that's not a suppression. Uh, now the engineers. B or C? Uh, these B and ones. C. B, B and C. Nope. nope. The sharpshooters. This is the one I'd love to hit. Come on. Please no. no. Yay. And then the engineers. <laughs> bah, bah. Smoke doing work. <laughs> Smoke doing work indeed. There's no one in the house, Luke. No You're there. totally confused. Oh, I've got a scout in there being like, I'm in here, guys. And the scout's like radioing back like, guys, this house is full of people. And they're like, we can't see anything. It looks like it's on fire. Oh, What's going on? Uh, right. Uh, I think my rifleman B, she's just going to have a shot at your snipers down here. So it's 10. Uh, one so die. wait, rifleman B. Oh, having a shot all the way down there. Okay, yep. Cool. It's gonna be a ten. It is a ten. That's not. It's an eight. It's very close, I tried though. to manifest that ten. It is a ten. It's a ten. It's a ten. It's a ten. I believe. What if I just started believing everything you said? I was <laughs> like, oh, it is a ten. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow! Everyone on stream is like, "What is happening?" <laughs> uh, what do I want? Recon scouts conceal. I think my scout A is gonna make a. Yeah, maybe they're just gonna not be there. That seems like it might be good for their long-term health. They could retreat, yeah, into this time. Have we said anything about retreating? I think you should fall back into your safe house. Ob it's obvious. <laughs> Through the mines and past the Overwatch token. Mm, mm. <laughs> they, can't, they might feel the safest in the Maybe they should just run over to the column of tanks. I, that's honestly what I was thinking about making them do. <laughs> um, I kind of want them... I kind of want to be able to get my engineers like in and amongst the little tank tracks and me. Yep, that's but I think your tanks might come closer anyway because I think the tanks are going to try and arrive and then like level this building and just sit here mowing down people yeah, that's which I'm quite scared of feels like a good plan to me <laughs> does sound like a plan and I don't want to see it happen um, my scouts A are just going to attack your uh, and your gunners A gunners A gunners A so they will hit on I guess it's a 10 3 Oh no, it's a th three plus four, so seven or better. Oh no, wait, I get smoke as well though. Oh yeah, yep. four, four five, six, house. seven. Yep. yep. Ooh, no, no. It's a four. <sighs> Suck. He's it's still my beating thing. heart. I One, just set two, up that three, Overwatch four. token, Luke. I'd be so sad if I never get to use it, like last time. It would, it would, it would he didn't even let me use it. But, but Mike, I, I, I didn't want it to happen. <laughs> You have rude of me. Uh, yikes. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Dun, 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 Three, dun, two, one. Bum. Seven. Ah, oh, six. You've got it. Woo. Thank you, Anya. Should I bolster squad B? Probably. Am I doing it? No. <laughs> um, T3476 mod is attacking Panzer IV. Which, wait, Panzer IV T. T. Yep. yep. One, two away, plus one cover. So it's eight or better. Three dice with the anti-tank. Come on. We would love to get this. Yes. Yep. And that should be the end of Panzer T. Oh, dear. Panzer IV T. Yeah, Panzer IV T. Panzer IV T. You had another one? You started with two? No, I bolstered one. Oh, you bolstered one. I, I missed you bolstering it. After you, uh, after you blew up the first yeah. card, I bolstered well, it. Well, they're going to be inspired to take the shot again then. <laughs> Same shot again. Three dice. Eight or better. No. <laughs> Come on, inspired. guys. You had, just, you had just sights trained on it. Uh, That's true. Then the partisans are going to make a run for enemy territory. I think that they should run right up here. 
go, yeah, go, go, um, go. I think that's not what I'm going to ask them to do, actually. Hi. Oh, they're going to attack your scouts. But Ooh. No. They're, they're not very good at this. Um, oh, no, they're going to move. The partisans are going to move. We're, <gasps> we're going to be in different buildings. It's nice. partisans are going to go in there. No! Boo! You can't All even right. take control. Oh, you don't have control of that building. Interesting. No. Interesting. It's worth a point. <laughs> I'd like control of that building. Mm. Uh, what are you up to? Okay. Well. I've got... Um... I've got Stug, and I was debating whether to do this area suppress two on Stug, because you know it'd be pretty funny. And then I saw your area suppress one up here, and I was kind of like, "Is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it?" Now I'm thinking an anti tank against T thirty four seventy six mod is the way to go, because even though I still need a ten, um, I got four dice, and also if I take that card out, it will never act. <laughs> <laughs> So ten is required. Four dice. Four dice on the Stugs anti tank. So it's a ten! It's ten. T3476 mod. Get out of here. Alright, card next is gonna be Rifleman A. Now I don't really know what my thoughts are with Rifleman A here. Um it's shit Rifleman A. Um And I don't think I want to just charge them into here, or even walk out into the open. That seems, like, dumb. Uh, so I think we'll just have to attack Scout A. I think that's our only real option. But I'm still looking for 8. Or higher. Because in my house, there's loads of smoke protecting everyone. <laughs> including the you wait, Scout A? Scouts. Uh, yeah. Yep, 8 or higher. Oh, fine. They missed. <coughs> and finally... It's... So do a friendly fire roll can see how packed that house is. <laughs> yeah. Sharpshooter. Um, boo. This is the Panto Park, guys. You'll go boo. <laughs> <laughs> boo, boo. Uh, and they're going to shoot at your snipers, I think. Um, so, you know, still need 10. Three. 8, 9, 10. Still 10. Ugh. But if I shoot at your scout, I only get one die. Mm. Sad. Need to blow up that house. That how I'm coming for you. Uh, oh, no, forget about it. Forget about mill. it. I'm coming for you. Go. Oh. Well, we'll reroll that. What is it with the dice today? It bounced back towards you to the right, so we're down there. Have another die for now. Well, this is okay. Oh, you've already got the hit. Please roll into it. Just like really enthusiastic. I, I <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh, we'll resolve it as a hit. Come on, like. <laughs> Um, so you, you hit the snipers, right? <laughs> oh. I didn't mean it! <laughs> I'm so bad at hitting that I can actually... I, the only time I hit is to create a miss. <laughs> I, was, I was on a sniper, right? Oh. Um, which of my snipers? It's gonna be... It's gonna be Amir. Sorry, Amir. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, thank you for, uh, for letting me... At least you pointed out beforehand, time. before yeah. doing the roll, because yeah. at least I'd seen it then. <laughs> there, there's a 10 there. You gotta <laughs> believe me. There's a 10 there. You gotta believe me. Lives are on the line. <laughs> right, so I got two from the bottom of my deck, and then I'm getting two more. Likewise. Which makes sense, because none of us played command. But I think you're yeah. shuffling a lot more into your deck, because you I did put, a few more did bolsters a than I did. Bolster and, um... But also, I take in... No, we take the same number of casualties. Three casualties each. Okay. Already, this has been just way bloodier than... everything else. And have we got an objective point yet? No. No, <laughs> no objectives yet. But we're both one good anti-tank shot away from an objective point. One good shot. One good shot. <laughs> if only I was could card count, I'd know what these two cards are. <laughs> Thank you. 
Cool. Three, two, one. It's just an engineer four. Oh, cool. Kind of. Two. So you get. Oh, okay. Kind of you. I'm gonna platoon sergeant bolster in. Tanky, tanky, anti tanky. <laughs> Actually, tanky, tanky, partisan with anti tanky. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. Um, and then we're gonna have machine gunner A, that's over here, doing not a lot. Uh, who's going to, I think, roll to try and attack. One, two, three, plus three. Yeah, it's gonna attack roll against your scout's BC. Right, so they're looking for tents. Oh no, there are actually two of them in there. They're gonna attack roll versus the gunner's BC, which is also gonna be tens. One, two, three, yeah. Uh, still tens, but versus the gunner's BC down here. Nope. Uh, and then Rifleman B uh, is gonna do a so this is the uh, e western front. <laughs> this is the south, actually. Down oh, is that this the is south? south? That's the north. There's, the river runs like this. The whole city is north-south oriented this way, but confusingly ah. most of the game is orientated east-west instead. I guess the conflicts took place yeah. this way. So, so who's this? This is Rifleman B. This is Rifleman B, B uh, and she's going to fire at the snipers over here. Right, so looking for uh, tens. Looking for tens. She gets to two dice, because she's, she's a crack shot. She should be a sniper, really. Damn, two sevens. That's good shots. Well, I Two hope you enjoyed that waste of a turn. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that waste of a turn. Um, I'm going to play Tank Commander for Bolster. I'd like to Bolster um, a Panzer three and a Stug. Oh. And then I'm going to play uh, Machine Gunner A, who has happily played his Overwatch, so now he's going to attack your Scout A. Cool. Um, looking for eights. We decided it was eights. Yep. Is yeah, it? this is Scout A. Oh no, like I, I feel like Luke, I feel like I've rubbed my luck off on you from yesterday. <laughs> I don't feel my luck has been too bad yet. Uh, just you know, it's just you have a lot. I've of been people. going for some long shots, and they're not yeah. in very useful places, uh, which is obviously not the smartest thing to do. Uh, where am I? That's a Scout A. That's the other one. Scout A. Would I rather have? I think I'd rather have the one with Explore. Oh, but eight, eight initiative. A initiative was keep stay. Uh, so you're going. Well, my final shot is sniper. Um, snipers. Who? I reject your polarization. There's only one sniper. There. <laughs> you've got sniper. And you've got sharpshooters. But not sharpshooter. <laughs> uh, I'm so tempted to stalk into the waterworks. Building two. I actually have scouted it, so I don't know why I'm talking about stalking. It's just cool. Maybe it's a cool put, sniper thing to do. Maybe I should put some some riflemen down there to like take control of that tile and get a point. Like that might have would been, have been an idea. Would have been a good idea. But probably. you're connected to it anyway. You can just send these guys on a really long walk. <laughs> they can come here through here. One, two, walk through here. We're walk through all this long. open terrain past the tanks. Yep. I mean, this bit's. Tanks yeah. are not actually very good at uh, behind killing tanks. people. But they're your tanks. No, I'm in front of your tanks. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah you, you'd have no, to drive yeah, into my to be in that space. Yeah. Um, meh. Let's take a shot. Long shot at the partisans. So I think it's nine. One, two, three away plus two cover is nine. Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. We roll that. <laughs> right, these are both misses. <laughs> I'm not going to knock them into a hit. Nope. Six, seven, eight. eight. What do I get for a straight? Uh, it's a run. Uh, yeah, it's a straight. But uh, well, straight, should a straight be five? Nothing in this game. <laughs> Decided. A short straight's four. So it's, it's not even eight. a short straight. Boo. All right. That was an uneventful turn on all accounts, really. Uh, I'm going to call teach you because I think I'm going to get rid of my hand first. <laughs> you're gonna what? Teach you. <laughs> teach you if to you have to you know you can you can say as soon as you think you're gonna run out of cards first. Like. 
And then, then runs them straight to yeah. useful than that. But you can have three card runs. You know, paired runs. You get like two fours, two fives, two sixes, and drop six cards like that. Nice. Um, if not very relevant in this occasion. <laughs> oh, god damn it, Maxim. What are you doing? Okay, fine. I'm gonna do this one. Three, two, one. It's Eight. five. Here you go. All right. So. Um, here's Engineer B, and he's going to try to blow up Scouts A. Uh, so two dice, looking for, what do we say, uh, five, it's, uh, ooh, eight ups, eight, eight ups. I'm probably move this back over here now, because this is where all the fighting happens. Dramatic bad. Dramatic pan. What do you mean my random like pot shots from my little corner bunker aren't aren't really effective? God damn it! Engineers are garbage. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Three and five is a complete whiff. Um, now I've if they got... were actually going to shoot it. They'd be made riflemen. Well, I've got something really interesting now. I've got two riflemen A's, and I'm debating the possibility of just running into this space and taking control of it, because that would basically be suicide, but I'd get a point. But then you'd kill them and get a point. Well, you can spend two actions to guarantee a point, or I could spend a minimum of three actions to maybe get a point. And that's if you don't bolster first, if you don't move them, and, like, <laughs> you know, and I hit a lot. Yeah, but I feel like if I lose the rifleman, I'm committing to the strategy of murder, just pure murder for this whole thing. Um, Are you saying that's a bad strategy? Because I don't know, like it, like if if you're coming up with murder is bad at this point in the war, <laughs> I'm gonna say your soldiers are gonna be a little confused. Yeah, <laughs> like, listen, guys, we've decided murder is bad. <laughs> please just, if you find any Russian, just speak. To them. Give yeah. them a chance. Have you tried talking to them? <laughs> um. Oh God, I I feel like without sort of a bit more support, riding in front of snipers and gunners is just a terrible idea so I'm going to hold fire for now and what we're going to do is we're going to do attacks against your scout including an attack from shovel man actually shovel shovel man will go first because he can only attack in his space anyway so he's just going to see if he can find your scouts and smack him with his shovel he did it he does he's, he's, his, he's shovel smacks his his, it's a shovel crit a shrit no <laughs> <laughs> um Scout A. I'm glad you added the R. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I went, you know, I tried. I tried. <laughs> it seemed very necessary about, like, halfway through the first syllable. I was like, uh, so that is the Scout A. Alright, so I think I saw, I think that's, I came out of There's three Scout A's in there, yeah. Alright, so this means, like, we've got to go in for the, the, the final move here. Although that, oh, I mean, I guess I'll just try to earn the points. The his only other option then, because this guy doesn't even have control anyway, is to move out of that space, which I already said was a bad idea. So, here we go again. Four point! It's a six. It's nothing. Nothing. Sad. Nothing. Alright, over to you. Um, okay. The only one that actually hit the scouts was Shovel Man. The engineers couldn't do it with their demos. Nothing the other rifleman it. couldn't do it with his actual gun. Uh, my rifle grenade is going to shoot your scouts. It's revenge shot time. Yeah, uh, so that's uh, down here. That's uh, six or higher. Because I don't have smoke to hide in. Never do I. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. The guy can't see for shit. Oh, dude. Um, KV1. KV1. Um, is there any point in doing assault? There's not. Um, suppress. I think it's anti-tank time. We're going to anti-tank versus the... Stuggy Stuggy. One, two, uh, three. So nine or better. Two dice. Please don't. I do. Eight and ten. Stug. So oh, there's one in here. I get stuck down. I get up again. I'm never gonna stug around. <laughs> <laughs> That's how those lyrics get right. Uh, and then yeah. Yulia. Oh, actually. So we have an action we've never used here. Reposition. Reposition. So I'm just gonna look it up. Um, Really hope this is like 
move all of the opponent's units into terrible places as they run because it's really smoky in their house and they hate being there. Uh, take a combat action on the card, then take a movement. So it's the same as assault, but the other the way around. Um, That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, so what she's going to do is she's going to take a shot at yeah. Uh, the snipers down here. One, two, three. Away, plus three cover. Oh, but this is your sniper who's over here. This is here. my sniper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. One, two, three, four away. I mean... Yeah, I think that's still the shot she's taking. Because uh, we're going to need to get that lot. Yeah. Fine. No, you can leave the waterworks alone. I don't even have any points there. It's just you guys. Yeah, we're going to shoot at your snipers. Uh, it's tens or better. Three dice. Tens or better. I'm an optimist. Two nines, but it doesn't matter. Now we'll just check it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, plus three cover is definitely. Pop, pop. Right, you're not repositioning? Uh, no, I'm happy. But you could go here. I could. I could. It's nice and exposed. Feel yeah, you the winter breeze. Stand in the zero right in front of my house. Sounds seems like a good plan to me. I think they would just die even if no one was shooting at them if they were that exposed. <laughs> like it is just die frostbite. It is November. It is minus twenty degrees Celsius. Like in this goal, like you think it's bad, and then you look at it, you're like, oh, it's even worse than minus it. Like, twenty is like minus twenty. It's, minus twenty is something you have to experience. Like if you don't, if you haven't experienced minus twenty, you don't really understand it. I think. Uh, I went to visit some friends in Chicago over New Year's, and I was not. And it was the middle of like yeah. a winter storm. Yeah. And I was like, it's cold. I've got thermals. I've got coats. It's gonna be fine. Like, no, you no. you go like a few meters, and you're like, I have to get inside a building. Again. Yeah, you like, can't buy clothes in Britain for that yeah, kind of weather. No, like exactly. you ha you have to get like a proper American snowsuit or Canadian um, snowsuit. Superior Canadian snowsuit. Um, well, I, I, I mean, that's just what I'm used to is the Canadian cool. winters. But three, two, one. It's a five. It's a seven. You keep it. All right, apparently, I've given up on bolstering squad B. Uh, Okie dokie. So, yeah, it was it was so cold in Chicago that uh, even though you know, t like you know, the stuff that comes out of your eyes, tears, are they're, they're salty. And the wind would make me start crying, and it would come out of my eye, and it would attach my glasses, and I get little stalactites like just instantly forming on my glasses. These little like balls of like salt water stalactites. I was like, oh. wild. I am never moving here. <laughs> What's wild is when you're breathing the air, and it's so cold, and you can feel all the stuff in your you nose know, it's freeze, just up. freeze up. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okie dokie. I've got uh, Panzer three. And it would like to use assault to move in here and shoot at your house. You have all one here. Here we go. Uh, this it's is, nines are better. Nines are better. Uh, this house is hard to destroy. I'm sad. Nine? No, nope, six and an eight. Boo. Boo, I say. All right. So. That's right. Get out of here, Pamsa. Hmm. Now it's Scouts A, who I think is just going to attack your snipers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, yep. Yeah, this is uh, their, so better. their mission in life. Or maybe I should get your engineers. Because they're scary and they might blow up my tank. <laughs> Luke saying nothing. Hey Luke, what do you like more, your snipers or your engineers? I my my favorite and most valuable unit is my Gunners B. <laughs> Aha! We tricked him, folks. We're getting Gunners B. Oh, they're not even. Oh, they are there. Um, okay, I'm going. I, oh, they the engineers B are not there. It's engineers A that's there. Engineers B are all the way over there. Yeah, but okay, but so let me. You, but you'd attack these engineers. I see. Yes, not, yes. This, like, yeah, I, I don't just, see why that's relevant. Like. All right, let's get Engineers A. I've changed my mind. So I need a six up. Yep. Yeah! It's a nine! I don't think it's in here. Let me have a check. Uh, what's an Engineer B? Do we check in the hand? It's not in the hand. So we go to the deck. And we look for an Engineer A. We might have a choice of Engineer A's. It's going to be this Engineer A who's hurt.
two. Okie dokie. And, and my final move. Oh, you got another card. Platoon Sergeant. Please do Bolster away. four. Yes. Yes, Bolster. get a chunky deck, Mike. Yes, chunky deck. Full love, of, love the animations. Full of tanks. I just pick up uh, all my remaining tanks. Except for the Panzer three, apparently. Why not the Panzer three? I should definitely get the Panzer three. Um, and by Panzer III, I mean the one that's not the Panzer III T. So I'll put the Panzer III T back, take the Panzer III... Uh, it's S. Put the S back okay. and take the T. Yes. Yeah. Have to get the correct squads. That's important. You had another T card? Yeah. Oh, Panzer III T. Panzer III T. No, Panzer IV T. Yeah, IV-T. yeah um, you're out of cards for all, but... Uh, I mean, maybe. Um, yeah, cool. I've lost two. <laughs> I'm going to scout to Rico on this Fog of War out of a deck. Boo! Hoorah! Vastalina, etc. Um, partisans. Uh, these partisans are going to control this space. <gasps> Luke gets the first point. <laughs> Damn it. This game is actually about points. No, oh no, I can take a big star. I forget that this is about points. <laughs> I attack a big place called uh, a place called Big Star in Chicago. It was good. Look, the way I see it, there's like four points just sitting here. If I can get those four points. Yeah, I mean, I think like. You see that house, and I think, like in your in your like eye, it's just a big pinata. <laughs> it's like I just like smack it about. Points, and points. I'm just not. I just I need the bombers back. The tanks are not as good at destroying houses as the bombers. Uh, and then finally, we've got the T thirty four. T thirty four is going to do a anti tank action versus the Stuggy Stuggy. No, so that's nines, isn't it? Nines and up one two away plus one cover. Yep. Yeah! Stug, yeah! I think that's gonna be the second Stug card, which might mean Stuggy is just gonna have to sit there and be sad about life choices that I've made. Some people like hugs, like, like Stugs. Oh, he was top of the deck as well, sad. At least he wasn't in your hand. Uh, that's true. And now he never will be. Thanks to your it's violence. Ooh, your uh, violent ways. Yeah, it's gonna be that, because... Oh, uh, maybe... Maybe I have to hold it. I like how we've got this enormous map, the biggest map I've ever played on, and the entire fight is taking place on, like, this, these three tiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Hmm. Alright. A five. And a six. You keep it. Thank you, Commanders. Let's go. Alright, I shall begin with Panzer three, which shall drive up to here, and then take an anti-tank shot against the house, which is still tense. Which is tense from here. Are you feeling tense? Feeling tense. Cool. Two tens! No. no. It's a four and an eight. God damn it, tanks. Don't, why, do, why do we even bother? Really. Um, Tankless task. All right. Well, you should get your engineer in there. They can demo the building. How about instead we use my sharpshooters to take a shot at your snipers? They need nines. I don't know why I've put the Panzer three over there, but probably because it doesn't really matter. Sharpshooters shooting snipers, it's nines. One, two away, plus three cover. Uh, that's going to be tens. Is it? It's two away, plus three cover. Oh, and the snipers have five base. Maths is hard. All right. It is. You know, there's so much maths in the world. There's a ten! That's absolutely outrageous how much maths there is in the world. <laughs> there's so much math. And a lot of it's just like basic mental arithmetic. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, you only had. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, so my final card is Rifleman B, who I think are just going to kind of mosey over into this house where they could earn a point. <laughs> mosey on down. <laughs> mosey on down, Rifleman B. Um, my Engineer A is going to mine with anti-tank mines, please. 
You know you you can't have two minds on the same edge. Though. Can you not? No, oh. So you're just gonna have to flip them over. I don't know what I want then. I think what I want then is to attack your scouts, a eh? <laughs> in anger and rage. <laughs> yeah. Demo the building on myself. No. Uh, so uh, no, actually. We yeah, blow up the plan. building, Luke. Got a different plan. Uh, we're not going to play the engineers yet. We will instead play Rifleman B, who's going to just move down here casually, casual mosey. Um, and then Rifleman A, who's going to take a shot at your gunners. Uh, so it's going to be ten because they're all smoke. Let's see what's happening here. You want to get rid of that uh, Overwatch? Overwatch. So you Overwatch. can go and try and blow my tank up. No. Oh, too bad. Smoke does it again. In which case, the engineers are just going to attack on the spot against the scouts. Two dice. Yeah, looking for uh, six, up. six up. Six up. Can we please get it sometime? Yes. Yeah, we're I think here. the That's scout. Nice. Yeah, the scout is dead. And you get a point. Yay! Okay. Fine. I mean, I, I guess that. you I'll can have that, that too. I want to. I want to memory. There we go. There you go. Okay. Give me something in, Mike. I've almost caught up to you on points, and I'm sure <laughs> that's going to continue to persist. Yeah. Seems. Yeah, at this rate, my victory is, is assured. I've gained two points, and Mike has gained none. It's if that true. continues, it's just projections. Like, how could anything go wrong? It's true. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm happening. So, three, two, one. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> That's really funny. That's never happened this whole <laughs> no, time. No, I don't think so. Not once in Undaunted Stalingrad has that happened. Um, once in a Stalingrad Undaunted. Okay. So Classic Christmas time. About mice. So I think it's going to be Engineer A who's going to try to uh, take Scouts A off the table and get me my first point. I know they can't do anything. You gotta get points sometime, Mike. Yeah, like, exactly. You're in the story, like, like, I have to take. Also, the, the, my house is crowded. Get this token off the board. God damn it! I'm wasting my life. Okay. I thought it was crowded house, but it's actually the Bee Gees because they're staying alive. So here is Sniper. Sorry, I'm here all week. Shooting at <laughs> partisans <laughs> for nine. Looking for nines. And there's at least one. Where's a partisan? I don't have a partisan in hand. I have two partisans in my deck there. Do I have a third to choose from? Three to choose from. Alright, well, hold tight, because here's Sharpshooter, who's also looking for partisans. Okay. I think, actually, maybe not. Mm <sighs> mm. No, you crack on. I think I'm probably not going to shoot the partisans of this one. I just don't know who to shoot. I really want to take out those snipers. I really want to take out those snipers, but it's so far proven to be a complete waste of time. I can hit them once. Whereas if I shoot the partisans, I only need eight, right? Uh, the partisans from your sharpshooters, one, yeah. two away, plus two cover. Um, yeah, only eight. Mm. The snipers are scary. The snipers are scary and they scare me. So I just shot the partisans and he didn't have one in hand and if I could ping a card out of his hand that would be nice. I would like that. I'd like that to happen. Shoot Rifleman B. <laughs> just standing out in the open. Still tens. It's quite a long way away from the shot. I mean actually if the, if the sniper shot them then it would only be yeah. eights because they're a lot closer. Yeah, it couldn't be further. Um, <laughs> like it's like across the it's whole It's like map. the maximum width span. I mean, I guess it, like down here would technically be fine. What's annoying is it's it's like basically the same to hit these people as that guy. But yeah. I guess that's because houses are real things. Houses are real things. You heard it here first on Ready, Steady, Play. 
<laughs> Where was next week for truth bombs? God damn it. Oh, God, this is agonizing. I don't know who to shoot. This, uh, partisans. So it's eights. That we, it would be, yeah, it's eights. Yeah, oh. missed. All right. I'll have to see it. Uh, so Gunners B is going to do an area suppress against everyone <laughs> yeah. in that freaking so house. Doing another area it's suppress tens okay. against everyone. We're starting with the rifleman in this corner. Yeah. No, we get three and two. Now we'll do the gunners over here. No, we get four and nine. Then we we'll do the sharpshooters. No, seven and eight. We we'll do the engineers. No, four and seven. Then we we'll do the other engineers at the back. The engineers A. No, five and seven. <laughs> Ten rolls. And that's why I was Ten inspired rolls. not to do... 0 0.9 to the power 10. 1 minus 0 0.9 to the power 10. Statistically, you, know you should have got a 10. We're going to make it 20 rolls, because Anya is like, you could do a better job than that, you <laughs> bag of shit. No, like, we're out of bullets. <laughs> we're doing... So Anya is inspiring uh, a second area suppress in there. Oh, no, you can't inspire... A you can't, actions. no! Bagger, you're right. Sorry. Um, well, then... I would have been quite happy to let you continue to waste that time to I mean, I'm rolling on tens whenever I roll, right? So an attack is just me rolling two dice at tens. Yep. Like, um, I'm going to roll two dice against... I'm going to roll a regular attack against your gunners, A. Eh? Two dice hitting on tens. No, five and eight. God, this smoke was the best thing I ever did. <laughs> I rolled 20, 24 dice, which I've had to hit on 10. Although, actually, the smoke right. hasn't made a damn bit of difference, because it's still 10s for both of us. It's the house. That's the problem. Like, if I hadn't put the smoke out, you could have hit the rifleman and the gunners more easily. Yeah. And everyone else would still be 10s. So, really, the smoke's just there to protect my weak and vulnerable core units. Rifle, rifle. I've got one more card. It's an anti-tank gun. Mm. The anti-tank gun's going to fire at... Stuggy! One, two, three away... Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, no. We are both, I think, very nervous about moving units around. Uh, the problem is it doesn't make much sense. My scouts over there are already dead, so that I really can't move them in many places. Um, like, it's not really that I don't want to. It's that actually I'm quite limited in my geographic mobility. Because mm -hmm. I committed my scouts over here and... That was probably stupid. I should have said well, them this way. We both did the exact You're like same weak, thing. fortified places. Yeah, yeah, but that's definitely good for you and bad for me because you have a stronger start because you're BPs and you have, like, I think, kind of a better set of units mm -hmm. uh, at this point just from what's still alive in the game. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Herr, what's his name? Uh, yeah, so I get to your tanks you. are doing a really good job. My tanks job. are doing some work. Um, but my tanks are actually shooting at tanks rather than buildings. Uh, I think if your tanks chose to set their sights on something more their own size <laughs> pick on someone your own size uh, oh right oh, no. please please one two what is this card one last card. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's the right thing to do. Probably a those, yeah. But three, two, one. It's just a four. Oh, yay. It's a one. You can four have... is more than a fog of war. <laughs> uh, I'm going to platoon sergeant to command out two cards. Oh, spicy. Okay. Mm. That's kind of fun. Um. Mm. I don't like the sound of kind of fun. I like the sound of... Oh no. Soviets on the run? <laughs> Soviets on the run, yeah. That's exactly what I like the sound of. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play a... Scout B! For a... Scout, Scout. <gasps> so we'll put a Scout token in here, please. Yeah. And then could you get me two more of those? Two more Scout tokens. Two more Scout tokens. Three Scout Holy tokens. Holy Three. Yeah. We put one in there, and then we play another scout B, to scout two, to go one, two, and join you in here. Get out of my house! There it's a, the, the scout call came from inside the house. It's very scary. 
Alright, scouts. Scouts in the house. Um, and then... Snipers. Yulia, best sniper. Come on, can I get a fourth die? I think we've still got one on the floor somewhere. A four, oh, fourth die. A fourth die, please. Ah, thank you. Um, Did we lose a die on the floor again? Yeah, it was the one... That you, you, this one was your fault. Was it? Like it yeah, uh, but it like hit my knee and then bounced off that way somewhere. We'll never find it. Never it find can't it. be found. Uh, but it's four dice. Uh, it's Yuliana, and she's going to attack your gunners. A. So tens, of course. Four dice. No, it's a bunch of fours and ones. Uh, and then finally, Engineer A. Oh, I really, I really want this gone. <laughs> um, he's gonna. What else can I helpfully do with Engineer A? Not a lot is the immediate answer. I can't fortify, I can't smoke. Uh, can attack two? It's not very helpful. You know what? Engineer A is going to move in here. That's fine. <gasps> you can make the suppress roll against them. Or is it, no, it's, oh, it's a, Overwatch. It's a, it's a kill roll, isn't it? Is it a kill roll or a suppress roll? I thought it was suppress, actually. I think it is suppress. Overwatch. But... Choose any tile, move the Overwatch onto it. Page 24 tells you what the Overwatch does. Overwatch says make a suppress three against that unit. Yeah. Success! Uh, that's almost 70 success. One away, plus one cover. Yep. So they're in there. Uh, the, the Overwatch stays. Sadly for me. Right, I think it stays you? until you hit the gunners, right? Or they move. Or they move. Alright, well... I've got Machine Gunners B, and I was trying to find a target for them, and now I'm thinking either those Scouts B or Rifleman B are both good targets for them. <laughs> um, and as much as I don't like the idea of Scout B in my house, fucking up my Snipers and Gunners, I also like the idea of shooting Rifleman B before they move and start claiming even more points over there. Um, so I've talked myself into it. So this is a kill shot against Rifleman B, looking for eights because they're stood in the middle of a ruined house. It's a success! There's a 10. The much sought after 10. God damn it. <laughs> it's clearly that one. Clearly the worst. <laughs> clearly the worst. Um... Okay. It's sharpshooter. He's gonna sharpshoot engineers A. <laughs> Sad. Suppressed. Seven or higher. Three dice. I think that's probability in our favor, but you never know. Hey. And finally, it's Panzer Four, which is just going to uh, Panzer Four S. Yeah, the one that can Oop. still do stuff. Uh, and then I guess it'll take an anti-tank against your stupid house. <laughs> Again. Looking for tens. Yeah, is this a complete waste of time? Yes, it probably is. Should I have done something else? Yes, I probably should have. But I've, this was my strategy and I'm sticking with it. Tens! Ten. Two! Yes. Two tens! I, that house the is just weakened. Arrived. The house was struck... The, the, to get one hit. the Panzer time. III is like, look, I, I structurally... I weakened it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I loosened it for you. <laughs> I loosened it for you. <laughs> uh, is it 607? Yeah. 607B. A food processing complex for flour, fish oil, fish smoking, oil, and baking. Mm, baking. Yeah, it's just looking a bit sadder now. Aren't we all... Open loss. Oh dear. Um, and that's it. Cool. Time to draw new cards. Yep. One, I've got two, one left. three, four. And I have to spend a long time shuffling this enormous stack <laughs> of ridiculous cards. Uh, okay. Well.
is obviously the front where I've chosen to fight before. <laughs> like, I got four starting points, and I was like, yeah, but this one... You this... have seven starting points. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean... I... Oh, oh, you, oh, no, you no, mean no, four, so, I mean, starting, four, locations. four yeah, starting locations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I see what you're saying. But I've decided that these three tiles are the ones that I, I wanted this to is, fight over. This is your quest. This is your quest. Mm. I want that fish oil factory. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, get the the, gotta get those fish, fish oils. Oil. They're really, really good for you. Nuts about fish oil. No, we're just starving hungry. Vital fish oil. Supply <laughs> lines have run low. We're extremely hungry. We were very disappointed when we took the Soviet headquarters and there was no beer left There was left also in the no food there. Like, there was no food. The brewery was empty. So, now we've come here for fish oil. One, two, three, voila. And if there's no, pla if there's no fish oil there, some might say your plans have been foiled. <laughs> yeah, it's getting more desperate. Just like the situation. <laughs> Three, two, one, four. Seven. Seven. Over to you. Apparently I have no interest in using my squad leaders to bolster at all, which is possibly foolish. Um, if I start hitting things, it might be. I've got I to gotta start hitting first. Okay, so here's Panzer three, and it's just going to right up to your front door and knock on it. How polite of it. It gets uh, two dice. So that was an assault action. It gets two dice and it's looking for the more eight. accurate characterization might be trying to bust down the door rather <laughs> than like knocking. 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 Polite knocking in the only way a tank has had a knock. Knock, knock, knocking on good and steam mail. Yeah, I can see why they just read those lyrics. Yep. Nine, it's leveled. We did it. Two points, more like no no points. Crumbling. 607C. Still worth two points. <laughs> it's true. Okay, okay. my tip. Nope, I've no, got two oh more cards. I've still got more cards. That was my that's first... How, that's how turns work. <laughs> first thing. Turns out. Right. Problem is, these other two cards I have in my hand are not best placed to make the most of this situation that I've been trying to create and have now finally created. Um, and I've got sort of two choices. So let me share with you the complexity of this first choice, which is uh, Platoon Sergeant who okay. I'd like to use to support to pull my nastiest, meanest card from over here into play. Because ideally it'd probably be Panzer 3 or Panzer... Yeah, Panzer I, so three Panzer 3 driving in here and shooting someone, that was definitely... Oh, but there is one. Yep, there's one Panzer 3 left. But it doesn't have assault? No, it... it, uh, it oh, it doesn't have assault, so it couldn't drive in there and do that. Um, it could attack, though, into the tile, which would still be pretty good. Um... I'd also, I'm also debating the possibility of pulling in Machine Gunner B, who could put an Overwatch on this tile, so as you <laughs> flee the house, you get suppressed. That would be unkind and unfortunate. Yep, yep, yep. There's also a Machine Gunner C here, who's got Area Suppress on him, which I could pull, which would be nice, but then it's one, two, three, four, five, so it's still like largely tens anyway, even though the house is destroyed. The Rifleman would be nines. So... I don't know. I don't really know. I think...
I think it's got to be Overwatch on the other house. So we'll use Platoon Sergeant to support a Machine Gunner BN who has Overwatch. And then just hope that you don't uh, use your scouts to make his life miserable. Which actually is probably going to be what happens. That's probably a terrible, this is probably a terrible idea. Um, I probably could have done something better. God damn it, Luke. God damn it. I'm just going to go hide in that house. I have to blow that one up too. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is that house is kind of weaker anyway. It's true. It starts Maybe off one extra cover a two. bit weaker, yeah. yeah. Do you know, I've talked myself out of this gunner thing. I think it's a bad idea because I think your scouts will just hit him and it's a, a waste. I actually think I should just bolster useful units into my hand. Um, I can't have a scout A because they're dead, right? Yeah, indeed. So scout A should be gone. So what I'll bolster, I think, instead is, um... Um... Two Rifleman A's, a Sniper, and a Panzer III. Two Rifleman A's, a Sniper, and a Panzer III. Okay, cool. And then my final card is Engineer B, who's just going to continue his uh, life's goal of trying to take those scouts off the board so I can have some points. <laughs> he did it! He did it! He did it! Did you do it? Yeah, he needed eight, and he got he eight. He needed an eight. He got a one and an eight. Oh, yeah, but no extra, extra numbers. Scouts A are out of there. One point. Did bravely. They did their best, and their best was to scout Pavlov's house, and they did it. All right, Rifleman B is going to capture. Yep. Could I have a point, please? <gasps> oh, actually, I did it! I, I almost caught up to Mike, and then like, but Mike's still a point ahead. Uh, and then Rifleman A is going to move into here, and that's it. <laughs> yep, seems reasonable. God damn it. I could have been benefiting from that Overwatch already. Holy shit. Look, I just drew a scout A card. Oh. What do I do about that? I don't know. How long? You must have just still been in the deck all that time. Unless you bolstered it by accident previously, but I don't think so. No, I definitely had two um, in the deck. And I had one here that I just threw away because I wanted to yeah. bolster it. Well, they don't know what to do about it. Uh, we can put it back, I guess. Like no, but you would have been shooting at it probably the whole time. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Have a good solution to this. We could. I think you just have to put it back, like as in in here. No, but you would have met, you would have uh, probably killed him yeah. with these engineers. Yeah, Here's well, what we'll yeah, the engineers How about this for a compromise? Yeah. We put the token back, and I ditch the card. Because you would have got this card with that kill anyway. Uh, yes. And then so you still just got one sitting on the side. Mm, oh, yeah. I mean, I guess yeah, yeah. so. So you can, you can bring it back. But like no, but, but I think that's reasonable. Like, yeah, is that yeah, okay? Yeah. I think we'll just do that. So the token stays there. So that should be this one. Fine. I almost certainly would have just bolstered them as well, but I'll yeah. call that a... a yeah, but a, I probably would have just had my engineer spray them. Yeah, stay yeah, there instead exactly. of moving forwards. Okay. We can't really undo it all, but I think that's yeah. going to be okay. Can't undo it all. Alright. It's a two. It's a one. Oh. Damn, I should have made a build, maybe. Oh well. Sure, it's fine. Probably fine. Uh, my partisans are going to anti-tank uh, the Panzer III T or S. T. Let's keep going for the T's. Yeah, this guy, has an anti T. this guy has a... Anti-tank? Like an anti-tank rifle. God damn it. 
Uh, All right, so he's looking for six? Six, yep. Six or better. And yeah. he does it. Hands a three T. Nope. This means I'm gonna have to choose something. Uh, but T thirty. Oh, I'll get rid of this one. It's but T thirty four is gonna fire at the Stug. Uh, so it's one, two away, plus three, so nine or better. Just take the other out of there. Nine or better. Nope. Uh, and then squad leader B is going to bolster rifleman B. Just, we're going to just get those two. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> we're still looking for that die. I just thought I'd take a moment to see if we can see it. That's okay, go ahead. Um, I'm going to play Machine Gunners A, who are going to uh, do a shooty against your snipers. <laughs> shooty. Just a little shooty. <laughs> just a little shooty against the snipers, I think. Um, so it's one, two, three, it's eights. So they're looking for eights. Oh, mm -hmm. they're not very they're good. Not at their job. Those are my elite guys as well. They're not even good at their jobs. And what they're good at is Overwatch. That's what the elite gives them. Not, not actually being better. They're just better at like pointing at an area and spraying. Well, here's a rifleman who'll make the same shot. Or not make it, as the case may be. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Close though. Um. All right, and then it's Panzer Three. S. Oh, I should have aimed at that one instead. <laughs> Who's going to uh, try and blow up the partisan's house? So that's eights. Eights. Eight or better. Nope, misses. God damn it, you're right there. That was a, just a ra three. It's just a ton of misses on shots that are not super difficult. <laughs> You're preparing to. Go I saw it wasn't the fog of war, and I was like, "It's probably Max." Um, Gunners, you can do it this time. Fucking suppress area, suppress that house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with rifleman A. Yep, two dice. No. Uh, yes, yes. No, it's not. Is it no, one, two tense. away? It's still ten. Yeah, uh, Gunners A. Nope. nope. Engineers BC. Nope. <laughs> Sharpshooters. So nope. And engineers A. a. Nope. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, you, just boop. We were just went to, you know you don't even have to hit them, buddy. You just want to get close. Uh, uh KV1 to hit the Stug. And tank two. Uh gonna hit on a one, two, three, nine or better. Uh, T-34 with the same shot. Nine or better. Yes! Double two tens. <laughs> Why are they, so the Stug, I think, is out of the game. Uh, please check. <laughs> oh, yes. Because uh, <laughs> like, we have inconsistent card counts, right? Some you had more, some you had less of. Like, I don't true. think there's one of your discard, but like... There's not one in my hand. I, I know that <laughs> because I know it's in my hand. Stug is done! Stuggy! This is a big token. Do I get two points for that? No? <laughs> okay. Poor Stug. Stug was really great in the sense that he was my best tank, and then he never really did much, and he just kind of blew up. Okay. Right. Uh, well, I'm really glad that you didn't do what I was scared you were going to do, because um, 
I this is I think going to be a, a nice moment for me. Something, something I've been looking forward to. I'm going to. Uh, I'd say I I didn't think would ever happen. I forgot the scout there. I absolutely should have gone with the scout. Um, I will drive Panzer three in there with an assault yeah. action and attack your snipers. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. tank assault on snipers. I never mm -hmm. thought this would happen. <laughs> So it's uh, just two dice. Two dice. <laughs> it's not even that good. Looking for six Wait, up. Six up. Six up. No. God damn it! <laughs> All right. Well, Can't here's their other veteran card, and now they're looking for three dice with three dice. My hair, the T's. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god! That's all the good numbers. I could cover it. Cover that bad. I'm pretty certain that's my last snippy snippy. Oh no, it's not. There, no, no, yeah, you Juliana. All right. Well then, my best card of the whole campaign. She's done this great work. It's gonna happen Actually, anyway. It's the shark shooters taking out Juliana. Trying to. Trying to. But no. So they sharp shooters with an S. They are plural of them. That's how many it takes. That and a tank. There's no S. It's just sharpshooter. It is on the token. Sharpshooters. Well, you've got snipers. Yeah, but that's just Juliana. <laughs> it's just Juliana now. <laughs> She's the only one left. One, two, three. So it's still eights, even though you're just stood in the open next to my tank, who's pointing at you going, aim here. So it'll turret being like, it can't aim quite low enough, but it's like... They're trying just... to point the gun down. It's really squeaky and greasy. There is a nine there. There's a nine. Uh, one, two, th yeah, three, yep, eights. That's the last sniper, I'm pretty confident. Yep, no more snipers. Sadness. Right, and those are the two pens. Uh, so you get you right. get the sniper token and a star weapon. Oh, there's no more snipers there's at all. No more snipers, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you like you've been eviscerating them. <laughs> like well, yeah, I've been trying. <laughs> I thought Juliana was still in the deck. Why? Why? Like, Juliana would be the last one I would give up. But, like, <laughs> she's got the attack four. She's amazing. Like, one, two, three, four. I don't shuffle it because there's only four. Um, I'm gonna need you guys to do that. That's very sad. Uh, that would actually be useful for those two staying. Which of these would be more useful? Technically, that one. Sure. Go. Oh, three, two, one. It's Seven. Three. You may have it back. My squad leader is just continuing to not bolster the ranks. All right, so I've got uh, Panzer IV doing an assault action, just driving up here. And now the question is, do I shoot at your engineers, or do I try to blow up that house? <laughs> Knock on the door. Hello, it's me again. Um. Mm. Hello, it's the Panzermeister. This is tank is here. Um, I can't remember if you've got any engineers or if I think you've got one left. So I probably ought to be concerned about that. So I think actually I will shoot at the engineers, which is looking for a six up. Well, the Partisans have an anti-tank, and I don't know when that's coming back around, but it's a little bit scary. Didn't you hit with it? You did I hit, did with, hit it. with it. You actually, yeah, you did hit with it. And anti-tank rifles are not very effective at the Second World War. Not at this point, but... No. I guess versus the Panzer three, they still see the I think I've shot... Uh, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to attack the house. So, three dice. Looking for eights. No, oh, that's a ten. <sighs> Goodbye, houses. I hate houses. I'm leveling the city. This is like uh, modern Britain. If I can't have a house, no one no can. No one can have a house. <laughs> destroy. Destroy. Oh. Hey, Difter's here. Hey, Difter. How you doing? Surely if it's like modern Britain, you should be like privatizing it. And... <laughs> yeah, well, I, even the leveled houses still have really high rent. <laughs> 
Oh, it doesn't actually lose any stats, though. Not yet. It's the exact I mean, same. Is it not harder to hit? Uh, no, it's the exact same it stats. It's the exact same stats. Right. Well, I think we have no choice but to fire Panzer Ford it again. <laughs> Last time you went through both immediately, so, uh... Yeah! Yes, yeah. a one it's one ten. Ten again. Yeah, again. Once someone <laughs> once someone shows the others where you want to hit their house, they're like, "Oh, I get it now." Okay. Uh, seven oh three C, right? Uh, yep. Uh, six oh three. Six oh three. Six oh three. How many six oh three? Oh, did I mess it up slightly? Six oh seven. Six oh three C. Here we are. The saddest waterworks. The NKVD complex is less complex than it was. Ho, ho, ho. Finally, my two-hour mission to destroy some <laughs> buildings is coming together. Um, and my final card is going to be um, this sharpshooter. And he's going to snipe someone. Um, the question is who? Uh, so many options. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's got to be Engineer A. I just want to protect my tanks. So... One, two, seven, or better. Three dice. And it's another ten. Oh, no. Oh, and I thought you were taking one from hand. I don't know if there is one left. I think you probably have eliminated that. Yeah, that's that. Another hero of the Soviet Union falls. No, I think they couldn't Marches even demo moments. a house. I don't think you'll miss one much. Or was well, it the other squad? All those who fall Stalin got uh, heroes of the Soviet Union in my eyes now. It's true. Uh, speaking of heroes of the Soviet Union, it's partisans. They're doing an assault. Uh, so they're moving in here because fuck it, it's the same now. <laughs> it's all the uh, same. And they're attacking uh, the and scouts. They're attack the scouts. Do you have yeah. all the I have all the dice. We're doing yeah, one attack versus that scout. Survive. They don't hit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Gunners A. Uh, Gunners A are going to do an attack two against the Rifleman BC. That's one, two, three away, plus three cover, so it's still, ten. Still you know what sort of? They're going to do it against the Scouts A. Scouts A shooting all the way across the map. Still ten. Still From ten. here to here. Nope. Adds up to ten. Nine and one. Uh, and then we're going to guide. Oh, what you have an elite in, tank. Man. What was Inspire? It's, they can take another action, yeah. Yes. Uh, we're going to guide the uh, T-34. Uh, we'll guide the KV-1 into here. Yeah. No, blowing up buildings is my idea. You can't have it. <laughs> Not necessarily I don't want to blow up the building. Blowing up buildings is my idea, Luke. It's true. It's true. Uh, you are on ten points now. You've got four more to go. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, you can get that pretty easily. One, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to also... So all my engineers A are gone. You know what else is in there, just so I don't try and bolster my accident in here. Oh, in here. Engineers A, Snipers, and Scouts A. Cool. Uh, yeah, cool. I got rid of all of them. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have the best track record uh, when it comes to blowing up buildings. Oh, yeah. No, no I don't. But you take what you can get sometimes. <laughs> uh... Sure. Three, two, one. It's a two. It's a five. I think you can keep it. Though. Fantastic. Yeah, difference. It's it's not going too well for me. It's been it's been a, an uphill battle, and then uh, gosh, I, I, there's some areas for us that I'd love to get off. Some grenades I'd love to have dropped. Look, here's a scout B who's doing a recon to get this fuck up out of my hand. The odds of that actually happening seemed slim, but they came together. Okay. And what gifts? What bounties? Uh, well, we've got a machine gunner B, who I think is going to shoot oh, at what? Scouts B. Yep, I think that's fair. Two dice. Looking for sixes? 
Yes. Nope. Go four, four five. five. God damn it! Can't even hit people in their own space. Right. And then it's sniper, and I think sniper's going to shoot at partisans. So he's got three, four, five. Looking at nines. Partisans? Yeah, partisans. Nine or better. Three dice? Three dice. Three dice. No! No! Bunch of crap! Uh, Gunners B is not going to do an error suppress. They got a new mission. It's to kill these scouts. <laughs> Scout A, attack. Two, uh, we'll hit on a six or better. No, it's a one and a two. <laughs> I don't like it. I wish for new dice. <laughs> Curse it. Uh, Rifleman B is going to move into here. I don't like Rifleman uh, B coming up the... Uh, slowly trudging forward. Coming up the southern end of the map. Uh, capturing uh, points. T-34 is going to take a shot at... Uh, yeah, fuck it, let's shoot at the building. One, two, it's going to be tens. Oh, it's going to be tens. Yeah, no, it's not that. We're going to shoot at the Panzer. We're going to play for some pride, score some points. Uh... A Panzer 4T, one two away, so it's, one in cover, yeah. so it's nine or better, two dice. Nope. And that's that. That was a whole turn of both of us missing everything. <laughs> Didn't I hit something? Oh, my, my, no, I hit the movement. Oh, my, my, my Rifleman B did what I asked them. They did one, yeah, you did move you successfully. Moved. Yeah, Maxim, I don't... Yeah, okay. Ready? Three, two, one, reveal. Eight. Three. You keep it. That's true. Alright, so I've got um, Rifleman B doing a control action. Holy cow. Nobody saw that coming. It's actually a point. Like you do 11. Mike needs 14 to win, a reminder for those. Well, so do I, but I have seven. So. <laughs> and then uh, the same Rifleman moving into here. Cool. Cool. So just uh, staring off against your southern flank there, guarding my uh, my thing there. I've got one card left, which is snipers, and I guess they're going to continue to shoot at the partisans. Um, nine or better. Okay, nines or four better. dice though. Four dice this time. This is like knock off Juliana. <laughs> Unnamed. This is a uh, Gerhardt Engel. Oh, he's one of my actual snipers. I, he was doing work early. Uh, gets a ten. Oh, he's got two, two, three, ten. Uh, so partisans, partisans. You've heard of artisan bread. Now see partisan bread. It's gonna blow up when you buy into it. <laughs> Assassinations. <laughs> the bread betrays you. The bread betrays you. It said gluten free, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it said it was gluten free, but not cordite free. <laughs> Um, or, or glycol, glycol, what's the glycerin? Glycerin, glycerin, that's what I wanted. Uh, me, it, it, all my NCOs are here. So, <laughs> Anya Squad B, she's gonna she's gonna get a rifleman and a scout B in there. Uh, Maxim for Squad A, he's pulling in riflemen's for A, and uh, Uri is gonna uh, bolster, is gonna command two, one, two. I just like to uh have a quick shot of um the officer gathering yeah the officer gathering they've met halfway through the battle and they're like how do you think so, it's going hopefully how do you think it's going and they're like mm, you know it's not going very well and it's, then you're then you're it's like wouldn't it be a good idea to get some more people in and both at max and you're like i'm not sure that will really help and he's like well you better do something with you and then they're like okay okay we'll get the last people in here and but then yeah. uh, i'd like to just pan up here to luke's uh, card area which is it's just extremely depleted. Yeah, like this is fog of war, so that doesn't help. And then there's just four little stacks. Oh no, I forgot my anti-tank gun. They're still alive. There you go. Those are the un... Those are the cards that have not yet been pulled in. It's true. I um, got slightly more, but it's all of the basic guys. Because <laughs> I, I basically just spent my time bolstering all tanks. Yeah. Go figure. Um, right, well I've had a kind of entertaining thing. Uh, I've got... Two scout bees is what I commanded out. Oh so god, the scout, scout bees are the ones. One, two, into oh, here. Uh, uh, so they one more scout token. Yep. And then we're scout one, two, into here. <laughs> Luke just scouting up the whole board. All right, take uh, three fogs of war. Yes. 
And just, uh, you know, my, my, my actually, my area gets emptier. <laughs> All those cards right. going into the deck. Oh, it looks like the live emotes are gone again. Oh, well. Oh, Difter, do we have uh, live emotes? Well, in Stalingrad, they're actually dead emotes. <laughs> it's a lot of dead emotes, yeah. I should get those, some emotes sorted out. <laughs> we just have Difter emoting in the chat now. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh... I mean, great! Oh, Mike, bring the pain. Three, two, one, it's a three. It's a four! <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, Engineer Desperate B. Desperate stuff. Engineer B trying to get me some, some stuff here. Alright, so what I've got is... Um... um Honestly, like, not a lot of good things. Um, I've got uh, Panzer IV, who can't really do much useful um, other than drive into this house. <laughs> Crowded X house now. Yeah, I can't even drive into the house next door because I haven't scouted it. Um, I mean, I guess I could do a suppress, actually. Can I, I can suppress outside my space, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a question of how keen I am to try and actually murder people with Panzer IV. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, let's suppress those partisans. I don't like them. So it's looking for five ups, six ups, six ups. It does it! Oop. So partisans suppressed by... That's the technical noise partisans make when they... <laughs> Floop the partisans! <laughs> um, and then I've got Engineer A, and his job is kind of done. So I think he's just going to kind of walk over here. Um, and maybe have some relevance later. You can, of course, shoot him quite easily there, but I think I'm probably okay with Please that. <laughs> with what as well, it's true. Uh, and finally I've got Rifleman A... Um, and this is tricky because the this is the card that only attacks in their space. Can you tunker them down? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just not going to do anything with this card. I probably should have actually bid for initiative with this and done something with Engineers B. I didn't really think about it, Luke. Honestly, I'm. I'm suffering from men from war fatigue. Sure, I need this uh, aptly named snack called grenade. grenade. We're not sponsored by grenade. Sorry for the rustling. Here's Luke's cards. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna play an engineer B, who's gonna move into here. No, uh, stop it! Get away from me, my poor rifleman B. He's seen through the weakness of my northern, my uh, my uh, KV1 my is going flank. to fire at the house here to attack. It's gonna hit on nine or higher. No. Crush the house. Yes, no. crush the house. That was my plan. You're stealing my plan. <laughs> Blowing up houses and killing people it's was my plan. Similar to but legally distinct from. <laughs> uh, six. Oh god, I've made such a mess of this in this battle because there's been so much building destruction. <laughs> I've just been like, yep, 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 cycling through it. That'll be the end of the building instruction, and then no, there was more building instruction. Is it 603 or 604? 603. What? No, it shouldn't be 603, though. No, wait. Yeah, How do be. we have two 603s? Oh, uh, that... Oh, because I probably got the wrong one out at some point. This should be... No, that should six, be 606. Oh, six, 606. Um, six, but that's six. actually fine. Don't worry about it, because it'll be the same anyway. Um... Well, this will take a moment then, because we just really need 603B is what we need. We need 
603B. Difter, I, I've, I've been rolling quite well, but actually also, I just started with a big advantage. <laughs> so many tiles. Uh, I think something must have gone back in the wrong place at some point. Okay. Uh, sorry, what are the numbers I'm looking for, both of them? Um, ideally, 603B um, and 606. 606C. See, see, there's a gap. Six o, there's six o six B, which is not what we want. That's B though. That's not what we want. We want six o six C. Oh, do you know what I think? I think that six o six didn't have a B, a C state. Oh, maybe it just uh, goes straight to destroyed. Six o six B. Oh, uh, yes, it must have like him. So we actually screwed it up slightly. Uh, I had to take an extra anti-tank shot. It's fine. And then 603B is up here because it's the one I tracked away earlier. Right. Which is waterworks. There we are. So those are... That's not here yet, but probably will be imminently. Imminently. I'll hold on to it over here. And that's... Um, and then put the rest of it. Yeah, okay. okay. We've corrected the uh, corrected starving ground. Hmm. Well, sorry, you would have been able to walk in there earlier and probably got some better shots against the partisans when they were in there. Yeah, that's fine. But also, it made moving in there a waste of my time. <laughs> <laughs> like, not that it, well, it's a waste of time now, anyway. Um, you, we have units in here, which yeah. are these two, this, and two points. Uh, and then we're going to inspire to do it again. Uh, this time hitting on eights or better. Crash no. building. Yes, crash building. Building crashed. Boo. Slight movement. There we are. That's right. Um, now 603B can go in there. Cool. That's that. I need to draw my four cards. One, two, three, four. Now we've got a new turn of action. Well. Okay, thanks game. That's, you know, that's that's something at least. Definitely. All things are definitely something. Uh, I think we're done with this one. Even if it's maybe completely the wrong thing to do. I don't like the events very much. I think this is better. Okay. Oh, and the Germans are pulling out as they're currently constipated by thought. <laughs> <laughs> Brain <laughs> horror. Three, two, one. Five. One. <laughs> I was so close to playing Fog War for initiative there, and now so smug they didn't. <laughs> um, and Rifleman B, who's going to do a capture there. Yeah. A point. Eight points. Uh, and then the T-34, uh, and T-34 is going to take an anti-tank against the Panzer. Yeah. Four, yeah. Just continuing on with this, trying to take these shells out. Yeah, actually, the T-34 is going to move in here, actually, for now. Um, yeah. That's probably a better thing for all things. Yeah, T-34 is going to move in there, because if we're going to get anything progress, that's going to be... Oh, I, was, I was very nervous about that, but the reason I played the um, the Fog of War is because I have Machine Gunners B and Snipers in hand, and they're just going <laughs> to trot out of here and take it. Run away like, into the... Oh my god, my god. <laughs> our house is... Hit. No! <laughs> What's happened to our house? Um, and then I've got Panzer Three, which was Initiative 2, so I was like, 2, 1, it's probably not going to matter. Um, so, Panzer Three will just drive in here. Um, and attack uh, Gunners B, I guess, because they're not as screwed as the other guy. Um, so, <laughs> well, maybe more screwed if they're about to be attacked by a tank. But yeah. It's true. So two dice looking for five up. There and it they is. They get it. It's a Gunners B I've got to find. Through the fat stack. 
question gonna be? It's gonna be that one. Area Suppress is gone. You let me down a lot. I'm honestly not sorry. You are the opposite of Juliana. Get out of here. You're fired. You're fired. By a Panzer three. Imagine if At I, high velocity. Imagine if that was how it worked in real life. <laughs> I'd rather not. point three two one it's a five it's a two okay i keep expecting you to like crush me um <laughs> crush me <laughs> kv1 is going to do a shot against the pat that that one Actually, maybe against the Panzer four. One, two, three, four away. Five. It's tens. It wouldn't really matter what it shoots at. Um, it's going to go for the Panzer three T. The Panzer three T. Panzer three T. It's tens. Uh, gets a ten. Panzer three T. Do you have one at hand? I do not. <laughs> do you have one on top of your deck? Uh, do I have one in my discard? And you didn't have an S, because you can see it on top of the deck. Well. There's all the S's are there. Oop, two. So I definitely have one in my deck somewhere. Alright, so there's that one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Alright, bye bye, Panzer 3 to you. Uh, and then the partisans who are just gonna stand up, which I really wouldn't recommend they do. Okay, <laughs> so please get up. Uh, and then the rifleman A, who's gonna have a shot at the scouts next to them. Rifleman A will hit on a seven or better. It's true. No. Okay, so. I think. I think that um, horrible things are going to happen to my Soviets. Um, not really. I'm still just trying to score all of these points. Like, what I will do is I'll play a Rifleman B to capture that space I'm in. Cool. That takes you to 12 points. Ooh. Okay, well then maybe I need to change my mind about my next move. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We're going to use a squad leader for the first time ever, not just bidding for initiative. Instinct. He's going to guide Rifleman A into the open ground. Bum, 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 but then bum, Rifleman bum. A is going to get played. <laughs> and do a control. So Look here. Oh, it is worth a point. It is worth a point. <gasps> That's 13 points. 13 points. We're so close. Oh dear. What? <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's good. It's great. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Always what I dreamed of. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. It's a five. Seven. Keep it. Uh, there's a fog of war in there. There's nothing. There's a rifleman A who's going to have a shot at the scouts, uh, hitting on a six or better. So there's still this little guy here. Sorry, seven or better. Oh, what is this little guy? Here we go. I mean, you can't really see much of it. I don't know what I'm showing you. Let's look at this. No, it's a six. Actually, well, it was good that I missed that because it wasn't a legal attack because that guy could only attack it in the space. Would you like to do something else with him? 
I don't think so. No, because <laughs> the alternative would be to move in there. Or move in there. Uh, neither of those seem like great options. Uh, T34. Uh, but T34 is for pride going to have a go at... Um, Panzer IV? The Panzer IV T in front of it. Uh, so it's anti-tank. It will hit on a six or better. No, he gets a six in total. All Mike, right. Mike, Mike, Mike. Well, it's Panzer is IV it... with an assault. I don't have any more riflemen currently, so it's just going to drive in here, and it's going to attack... I think it's going to attack Gunners B because... Um, that will take them off the board and win me the game, I think. We'll find out right now. No. Uh, no, five is what I need. Oh yeah, five is what you need, yes, because there are only four. Uh, I don't think I have a gun as B. I think that's it. Let's go have a check. Because there should only be three of them and one has already been removed. That's it. That's the game. <gasps> They also had snipers They're and sharpshooters yeah. trained on them. Things like everyone were gonna just, die. Lots of uh, just guns. Guns, guns, guns. Well, oh, soldiers, you did a great job. Thank you, Mike, for Thank the you game. for playing. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, 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 we get it on the full camera. <laughs> there we go. That was, uh, I mean, I think I started with a massive advantage. <laughs> but Yeah, it felt like, from fairly on, I was like, oh, I have a plan. Maybe I can bung Mike up here. And my hope had been... This is kind of still my hope that I would kill your scouts and all your units be stuck over here. Mm -hmm. Like, just like not able to actually get to the rest of the map. And these guys would go and like hoover up points. Yeah. But I like still midway committed. When you rushed into me, I was like, oh no, I've got to panic now. Mike's coming here. Like, um, I wish I put some anti tank mines down. <laughs> probably would have changed what you did. You probably would have sent some people in then. But, uh. To, well, I don't know how much it would have changed what I did because the. I, my main thought was effectively I'm going to put all the tanks in the middle so they can just go anywhere Yeah. and what I'll do is I will basically attack um, some spot where you have a lot of points yeah. um, that you start well, with well they could really only go this way actually because up here there's buildings over here they it was all, you know unscouted um, so they could have come yeah. south to protect your own building. But I mean, like, I had a, a scout up 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 yeah, in the north. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If he, uh, he if did he came down and did one, game. two, and then like it would have been three, more four, difficult for them to go three, over four, here. Yeah. Um, and then when your anti tank gun and all of your tanks were there, I was like, like, yeah, go, this yeah. is it's obvious to just kind of piling down yeah. here and just make this massive push against the units here because I'm like, there's two kind of benefits. I get access to all of your points. And I kill a bunch of people yeah. doing it. Now, my hope would have been to stick you in there and then, like, flip this one. Yeah. And then flip this, like, flip all of this, right, to deny yeah. you the points just as you were getting close. And oh, yeah, I was like, getting very there, worried like... about Scout B hanging out in here, maybe uh, hurting these units, yeah. and Rifleman B coming Just Rifleman B just doing enough to capture it, and then yeah. bugging out would have been the plan. Yeah. KV-1 sits in here and says, well, make me move from this tile. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, and then hopefully, you know, you can't get units across here to control it back yeah would be the idea I, well i did have a mild panic when scout a sort of foe yeah. died well that's why i was still having a go at it when there was so much other going on i was yeah. like i've got to get scout a off like and I, 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 I had i had one more hope you know it was like uh, in the second star wars movie uh when luke's uh when yoda's like there is another, there is another. you know which is of course complete crap now that there's like a million jedi alive at that time um, but, you know, in the original movies, when there was actually just Leia, I think he was supposed to be talking about. Oh, I can't find it now. Where is it? Basically, I have a sharpshooter sharp card. Or with, I have a sharpshooter card with Scout on it. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I was like, do, my yeah. sharpshooters can no, very slowly walk down here and try and do some scouting. But, uh, but they only scout one, right? Yeah, like, they scout one. Yeah, exactly. So they're extremely slow. I mean, you. I think you could stalk them with, with, with like, other sharpshooters. Right, move them with yeah. other sharpshooters, then scout, like, which yeah, helped them get scout a bit one. further. But. Yeah, so that that was the plan to like get into here, for example, and possibly open up this bridge if I needed to. <laughs> Not been any Star Wars since the prequels. Difter generously letting letting Star Wars fans have the prequels. <laughs> uh, my 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 favorite Star Wars film is Episode Eight, which makes some Star Wars fans very unhappy. But like, <laughs> I think it's the only one that remembers the spirit of the originals, where right. it's quite silly. And it's also like a like, it doesn't mean it's perfect, but like, mm -hmm. 
it remembers that there's re that it's real dumb. Like if you go and watch episode like four and five, <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Wow, like <laughs> it's pretty camp in a lot of places. You get to George <laughs> Lucas being like, "Oh, and we should have the Rodians be more glossy. Let me let me stick your fingers <laughs> in my mouth." Like, mm, I can see George, that. please. <laughs> George. <laughs> um, so that was a bit of a tonal shift. Yeah. Stalingrad, congratulations. Yeah. So I, I mean, it did feel. I mean, I, when Pine Leaf Needle said at the start, it should be three cards each. It just does feel like maybe it should have been three cards each. Um, yeah, I guess, but presumably, because then we would have started with an even number of points, right? No, because there's an odd number of points available at the start. Oh, okay. Um, so, so I don't know whether it would have given whether like plenty of units thinking maybe I should have had the staging area. You, in which case you would I have, have started five points and you'd have had six. Actually, we'd both or, have had six. Yeah, if you had the staging area. No, the staging area is only one point, whereas all the other areas, the other uh, ones, are worth two each. Right. Okay, was, but it's a one point swing. So what did I start with? So if it was a t you started with seven and you started with seven, with four. And I started with four. Okay, so I would have been on six. You would have been on five. Five. If it was the staging area that's meant to change, but the scenario is very specific. No, the, the scenario is very area. clear. Yeah. Um, so and if it'd be one like, of these, then I would have had six and you would have had five. But like, I hope it's not Narata that we've missed. Mm, let's hope not. We know <laughs> we we went to the Narata yesterday and we went through the whole sheet again, looking off the stream. We spared you that game. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. We we went through the uh, the sort of the paths. And I think I found the error. I think you somehow moved from R twenty six to ten A. That meant you have the wrong scenario yeah. there. Pine Leaf Needles, I do appreciate your diligence. We were on R twenty six. That's right. No, but we went to ten N. We went to 10N. Yeah. yeah. And 156. Uh, briefing 156 and Scenario 101. We definitely went through this, like, a lot. Um, yesterday. Yeah, R26 to 10N. Yeah, that's what I know. R26 is oh, 480. Yeah, 480. But 10N uh, has to go to, to 11G. So we went to the... Is it, well, we went to 11B... 10N. Wait, that's scenario 101, right? Uh, 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 111? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it sure is. Um, 111. So we were on 11N. Sorry, 112 was 11. Was Sorry, 10N. 10N was 101. Was 101. We had a German, German victory, victory there. Yeah. yeah. So German Which victory. Should have taken us to 11H. I have 11B down in my sheet. Me as well. Uh, you know what it probably is? We probably looked at my sheet for this. And if you look, I wrote a lowercase n. Which I some like I also might have thought later was an A. And then if you go from A and we have a Soviet and we have a German victory, we go to eleven B, which is what we did. So I think on like it's possible to use my sheet there, and I was just like, it's an A. So then, even when we were checking, what did, did you also write a lowercase? No, you wrote you wrote a big uppercase n. Well, you yeah. scrolled out. So did I? Did we? Did we divert? Or did you write a at one? Yeah, no, no. N was the right. N was correct. Yeah, but uh, was correct. In, but in, in resolving that scenario, Here's we probably Luke's went lowercase n. And I thought it was an a when we did that next step. That kind of looks like an a. Yeah, like if you look at my my twelve A beneath it, you'll see that they're not different, really. They were then <laughs> very... unhelpfully similar. <laughs> like, but on Mike's, it's a nice big capital N. Ah, oh, Pine Leaf Needles was right again. God damn it! You know this so well. So that yeah. So then we what what, what happened then was we probably jumped from so the... N is probably like a close state, um, and instead we moved to like the extreme Soviets have won everything state by going to the A list. Because if you track from the start, remember, I was going through it, then if the Soviets keep winning, you stay in like A and B always. And if mm -hmm. the Germans win, you first move to D, then you move to like G, then you like, you know, you move towards the extremes of the alphabet. Mm. Um, like if you look at what the Soviet ends happen off on the, on the ones where they can win early, it's like a P. Whereas if you look at what the Soviet wins can happen off, it's like it's off of B and A. Right. So what happened there was assuming this is right, which seems like it probably is, we moved from like some middle ground route, which is where we were because we were just changing exchanging scenarios, to the Soviets are winning really heavily, which is why we then ended up in this place where like, well the Soviets should have a bunch of chances to win. 
But uh, after, if we go, if I change this, we go into, we still go to the same, do we? Yeah, we still play the same scenario in track 11, though. Uh, but we're in a different state in that scenario, which probably means that there's oh, like, a diff yeah. like a branch differently later. So even but though we, we would really play the exact same scenario, because we would yeah. Gone... So in in round eleven, we would have played the exact same scenario. Would we play one one one. Yeah, but we would have been in a different state. We would have been coming from eleven. Instead of being in H, H. we would have been in B. Yeah. No, we would have been in H instead of B. Sorry, we would have been in H instead of B. Yep, which would have mean we go to twelve H instead of twelve, whatever we went to twelve A. So we would have gone to 12G instead of 12A. Uh, so right. 12G and 12A take us to diff. Uh, both take us to 4A8. Both of them, both 12G and 4. Both take us to 4A8, which means they're going to take us to the same place, which is 1 2 1. But I think what it'll so I think what it'll do ultimately, and you guys haven't really seen. Uh, ah, yeah. So then we would have played the same scenario 12 that we did, except instead of being on this column 12A. Yeah. where there was a Soviet victory available, would have been here, 12G, where a Soviet victory would not have meant an end. So all yeah. those, like, Luke wins if he wins this ones wouldn't have... Would, yeah. Wouldn't have happened like that. Because we essentially... So what... I mean, in a nutshell, guys, what we're talking about here are these tables, yeah. which are sort of determining uh, which areas of the campaign you're on. And effectively, you know, you're, you've got your current state up here, which is how you got here, and then you've got the win states down here that take you to the next thing. And... What we're effectively saying here is at some stage, because we confused uh, N <laughs> My with, crappy small N with an with a, 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 N had us down here, you know, towards the end of the alphabet and shot us way over here, which takes us from sort of like a back and forth close scenario all the way over to like the Soviets are like dead ahead scenario, um, which is why we suddenly had all these sort of Soviet wins popping up in the, the final third of the, the campaigns. Yeah, so... So, and then from that one, we had, uh, so that would have been actually in the exact same scenario still, which is good news. I mean, we might have played slightly differently knowing the winners on the line or not. Um, G, 12G, we had a German victory, which takes us to 13H instead of 13B. And then this is probably where we end up playing a different scenario. Yeah, 13H instead of 13B. So we did this find a way instead of that find a way in. Um, what is the difference between the one? So we did 132 when we would have then instead done 131. Uh, so we did this one where like I started up here, but you got down there to get the things. Yeah. Instead of this one where you would start in both. Um, up those two. So that kind of just seems like it's probably easy. Oh, uh, well, it's quite a different shape map. We look like closer in. One of the victory points 12, 12, 12, 2, baseline plus AA. We unlock a card out of the way. The rule is pretty similar. The map layout is different. May I don't know if you have the same secret text for both. Um, it's possible that like you don't get sharpshooters down the route we originally went down. The, the route with that we should have gone down. Yeah, it might have given um, me extra snipers because I was doing so badly because we were on the Soviets are doing stonkingly well track. Is this 131? It's a special rules for both, yeah. Um, um, secret intel, rather. It's a secret intel for both. Unlock eight cards. That's the bombers. Secret intel for German. No, you still got the sharpshooters. You get the sharpshooters either way. Choose, but this bit's different. Choose 503, 506. Yeah, so like it would just so it's a slightly different scenario where like if it's being closer, you start. My people start in the way as opposed to split. Mm -hmm. Like in this one, my people both start like in the core stuff rather than half of them being like up here where they can't control anything useful. Yeah, so they're sort of yeah. So the, I mean, really, actually, what we were playing was making it harder for you, probably. Uh, yes, but it also gave me shots of victory. That I missed. Yes, that's right. True. Like, like it, yeah, it made it a lot like more. You, it made it e probably easier for me, but also a lot more stressful for me. Like, yeah, a lot, lot more stressful. But that me. also then probably explains why we ended up with the weird thing yesterday, and probably there's something about the control that then explains like in that scenario, this scenario where, yeah, where somehow in this scenario, then I had a big advantage <laughs> because it probably should have been like seven six one way or another, depending on yeah, rather the sorry, it probably should have been six five rather than seven four. Yeah, six five rather than seven four. Yeah, 
uh, one way or another. Which would have given you because one of us would have three areas and one of us would have two areas plus the staging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Um, and I think it probably should have been you with the staging, probably. Uh, maybe the well, no, yeah, it depends. Actually, depends. it depends because that relies on me having taken the Soviet headquarters, and I might not have had that. So actually, you probably should have had the headquarters, and you two know other. what, Mike? Oh. We might just have to do it again sometime. Some Restart flags. from the beginning. Re yeah, F to this run. As <laughs> like, so I mean, learning learning game by which I mean learning campaign. Learning campaign. <laughs> yep. I mean, so actually, the, I mean, that's an interesting point. Like, I mean, having just sort of finished it, I'm. Um, yeah, I don't actually want to immediately do a whole. Other yes, but also yet, this but like, is one that I would be. Keen I would to revisit. Do. I would at some revisit. Point, yeah. Like, I don't often think that with campaign games, especially yeah. when they're long. Like, I have absolutely no interest in going back to Jaws of the Lion. But um, this I would play again. It's not massively long. It's not... I mean, even when you play all 15 missions, the missions are anywhere between like 45 minutes and two hours. Yeah. Uh, longer on stream, but even on stream, you know, there's still... this. You know, this was still two and a half hours. Yeah. And that was the big end one, you know? So, like, this, it's sort of reasonably doable. I think it'd be really interesting to swap sides, yeah. to see sort of how the unlocks change. Yeah, I would definitely change. choose to play it from the other side. But... Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think that this... But I also think, like, and obviously, I don't know how accurate this is now that we've sort of discovered our errors. Um, I probably would have felt better about the amount of pressure put on me towards the end, given yeah. that we're on, like, Totally like, the wrong track. And presumably, uh, I wouldn't have a, had a win last time. Like, I don't know if maybe the close one would still have, like, worked it out so that there was a win state there. Mm. But probably, if we were in that middle one, it would have been like, actually, that we'd never have seen one of... Yeah, there are some of the 13, some of the 14. Yeah, if we continued to sort of, like, uh, just back and forth, we might well have wound up in this end state anyway, the big game at the end. Oh, yeah, actually, whatever 14 you do, there's always an end. I don't know whether we would end up on this side, like one of these ones where the ends are in your favor, or one of these ones where the no, ends are in No, there's no favor. end here. Sorry, uh, oh yeah, yes, good point. Yeah, some of the columns don't have ends. Um, yeah, so it's possible that... It depends which state but you But I expect it's quite likely that we wouldn't have ended up, certainly one where I had an end victory in the end one. So mm. we would have probably on the full length, and then we wouldn't have had all our comments at the end of the game yesterday being like, this, this was weird. This didn't <laughs> like, feel right. Didn't, yeah. right? Because we yeah. ended up on this track where like, I steamrolled you in the first like nine games, <laughs> exactly. right? Like, so that is exactly then... why that felt so weird, jarring. jarring. Yeah, exactly, because uh, that was the the track for those wins that you know wasn't the experience we'd had. So I mean that's I mean that's relieving and reassuring. So I'm really glad that uh, Pine Leaf Needles has yeah. helped us to suss this out. And tally's and... better with the general production of the game and like like the vol you know the words we were getting through the book and yes yeah, yeah like... exactly and this uh this obviously um this final game here felt um i mean obviously you were a bit on the back foot and so i'm not sure if you yeah. but this uh, felt... i never felt like i had too much of trust i still felt like i had a plan mm -hmm. but it suddenly felt epic in scale still yeah right and i suspect with if we kicked it off right we probably would have felt like i probably would have felt like a little more a little more involved. Yeah, yeah absolutely um, and I definitely should have noticed that, uh, there was a lot of points that were just kind of, like, unclaimed. <laughs> I literally, like, my whole strategy was just, we like, sit in this pinata. house and murder these people. Yeah. And then when they're all dead, come and get these four points. And that's going to be all the points I need. Yeah. But not if I flipped these. Was yeah, not if that, you flip that, those two. Like, I kill the yeah. scouts and then I make Mike sit a million miles away, rolling tens, while I just sprint with my rifleman B up and down. Yeah. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like, snipers and gunners, you cannot let those riflemen B take these two, two points. Right. Yeah, yeah. One of you's going to have to walk out there yeah. if they get close. Yeah, they <laughs> or just so. keep shooting them and suppressing them and praying. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was great fun, and I think a lot deserved victory for you. And we'll, we'll call it a a messed up draw. A yeah, messed up draw in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. We'll just which is, play um, again sometime. Maybe the most accurate submission we <laughs> can manage whole... in the game. Yeah, exactly. This is the most accurate ending of all <laughs> Stalingrad endings. But uh, still a great time, and everyone uh, was very confused on the ground. Any plans for the rest of the week? Asks Stifter. Um, I'm still working on this video I'm editing, Difter, but uh, the reason it's taking so long is I lost the green screen footage, so I've had to take lots of photographs of components that's oh. really slowing everything down. Um, so I'm working on that. I'm hoping that'll come out later in the week. But uh, no more live streams this week. That's your two. So um, 
But also, I noticed actually, I checked out the Patreon vote. If you like to have a say in what we play on the show, you can always go on the Patreon, uh, support the Patreon for as little as a dollar, but if you want to vote, it's five dollars. But one dollar still puts you in the Discord, where you can shout at me about the games I own and tell me to review things, if you want to see my thoughts on them. Um, in a more succinct manner than the rambling on the live stream. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I, I the, the vote actually this month was entirely split uh, for things I wasn't expecting. So I'm going to have to go back and uh, figure out what I'm going to do about that. But uh, that'll be next week, I think. Lots of exciting stuff. But we wanted to uh, make sure we got Luke while he was still here, because Luke's going out of town for a while. And uh, we wanted to get Stalingrad done. So I hope you've, uh, you guys have enjoyed the Stalingrad stuff anyway. There's now a really long playlist of Stalingrad stuff for everyone to go and catch up on and uh, see the game. And I think this one's super easy to recommend. I think if you get a chance to play it, you absolutely should check it out. Um, and uh, have a go at it. I can only concur. It was, yeah, I had a really great time. Uh, thank you all for watching along, watching us make our way through. Uh, it's been a delight. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Luke, yeah, for absolutely for playing with me and um, for muddling through this with me. And thank you to uh, my, the Mycroft Games Topper for giving us <laughs> the capacity to hold even all of these tiles, even the yeah. mega size. Exactly. It's true. Well, the what you don't oh, see it's actually from more space. <laughs> this top-down camera is just how many cards you have to lay out. Like, it, the game can be very small, but it does also get quite big. And you, you might, if you weren't streaming, you'd probably sit across from each other and have like here and here rather than like pure horizontal expanse. But we'd still be quite a lot of horizontal space. We still need certainly for this, which is the biggest. Quite right. a lot of table space. And the thing is, as well, like you could sort of cheat the table space by like putting the cards into stacks but seeing how many are left is really important it's useful information yeah yeah and like in your first games it probably won't matter because you'll both be going through everything else but once you're at this kind of stage you you want to know you want to look at your opponent's stack and like how many cards are left that's in that thin stack. that's that, that isn't bolstered that's what the, the casualties look like exactly um, yeah so we'll uh, we'll wrap this up here and maybe we'll be back to check out uh, general orders or battle of britain at some stage We'll see if uh, we get our hands on any of those. But otherwise, uh, we'll say goodbye to Luke for now until I can tempt him out with something else. Maybe some board games? Maybe some board <laughs> games. But specifically, not not the, the goofy goofy board games I have. I can enjoy goofy board games sometimes. Depends. <laughs> Depends. But yeah, I like to turn those off. Anyway, thanks, thanks everyone. Thanks and everyone so much for watching. We'll see cheers. you all real Bye. soon. Bye!